Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in 10 minutes from my mark. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mark. That was your 10-minute time check, stations.
Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in five minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your five-minute time check, stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in two minutes from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your two minute time check stations. Attention stations on the network. Our broadcast will begin in one minute from my mark. In five, four, three, two, one, mark. That was your one minute time check, stations.
on the Hawkeye Sports Network from Learfield. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball, brought to you by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. By University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. Authentic brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. And by High V. score big savings at HyVDeals.com. Now to Courtside, here's Rob Brooks and Jamie Lang. And welcome, Hawkeye fans, to Climate Change Arena. Uh, I am Jamie KB Lang alongside Rob Brooks. Uh, you're not used to hearing my voice right away, but here we are because uh, the time has gotten pushed back for the start time about 15 minutes. And so Rob is actually in the locker room with Coach Lisa Bluter right now, getting ready to hear about what Iowa is going to do today against Louisville in this Elite Eight game that can send Iowa to the Final Four for the first time in 30 years. Things that we know that we're going to be excited about today that Iowa can actually look forward to. This is a team that Iowa matches up really well against. Iowa's very excited. This has been such an amazing time so far here in Seattle. And Iowa is just going to be prepared. You saw all of the team. The hype is happening. Every single person across the nation seems to be cheering for Iowa and Caitlin Clark. But looking at today's game, Iowa is going to be facing Louisville Cardinals. Iowa is, has a much better record. They are seated higher. And so that's good signs for Iowa going into this game. Um, but Louisville is a really tough team. They have some fabulous players. They have uh, players on their team who have played in uh, postseason play before. They have played in on national teams before. Um, Haley Van Litt, that's going to be a, a huge a huge battle tonight for Caitlin Clark, but it should also be an amazing opportunity tonight to see two great guards go up against each other today. And we are going to take a short break, and when we get back, Rob will be back and uh, have, a, have the locker room chat he had with Lisa Bluter ready to go, and we will um, hear about that then. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. At Oak Mall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! When you buy your own health insurance, you deserve a doctor who's your biggest champion and coverage you can be confident in. And with new Wellmark Health Insurance plans featuring Unity Point Health, that's what you can expect. These plans help you build a relationship with your Unity Point Health primary care providers and network partners, starting with free preventive and virtual care, plus low copays for primary care with a doctor who always has your back. Connect with an agent to help you enroll at wellmark.com slash UPH. Coco Creative Agency has launched the Inclusive Cultural Marketing Program, an initiative uplifting minority-owned businesses across Iowa. Businesses like Lola's Fine Hot Sauce, Forward Consulting, Own Your Check, and Humanize My Hoodie. For more information about Coco Creative Agency and these other great businesses, visit CocoCreates.com for more information. That's CocoCreates.com. Let's prioritize impact over transaction and uplift minority-owned businesses. Hey, burger lovers. This is Jill from the Burger Shed. Have you tried one of our signature handcrafted burgers? you got to try a fan favorite, the Shed Burger. It comes with in-house smoked brisket, pepper jack cheese, and the Shed's barbecue sauce. For all of our pork lovers out there, you got to get your hands on the Apocalypse Now Burger, which comes with a pork patty topped with hand-pulled smoked pork, pepper jack cheese, and bacon jam. Burger Shed. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Fast Pro Drive and Altoona. And welcome back, Hawk fans. We are here to pour an Elite Eight NCAA March Madness game, the Louisville Cardinals versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm Jamie KB Lang, uh, a 
alongside Rob Brooks today. Uh, we have just gotten word that the game time is going to be pushed back uh, just by 15 minutes. Usually that can happen a lot, especially when we have some TV games that they get pushed back a little bit. So we are going to be able to have 25 minutes here to chat together, talk about this game, get prepared for it. Uh, but I wanted to take a second to listen to Kate Martin and then hear what she had to say over their win against Colorado and getting ready and getting ready for this Elite Eight game today. And I'm here with Kate's great, Kate the Blue, Kate the Star. Uh, Kate, you're going to the Elite Eight. Hey. It rhymes. It does rhyme. Oh my God, it was like it was made for you. <laughs> yeah, it uh, feels really good. I'm super proud of this team, super proud of these coaches, super happy for everyone. Happy for our seniors and just everybody on this team. Um, yeah, coach said, you know, tomorrow and the next day only eight teams are practicing out of 350. I mean, and we're one of those teams. So we're feeling really grateful right now. So you were able to today shoot a ton of free throws. Yeah. Hit some threes. Yeah. Um, but being able to keep that composure of your mm -hmm. team because this is where it gets tight. Yeah. And how do you do that? How do you help kind of lead the team through those times? Yeah, I think we just coach one of our mantras for our, you know, March Madness tour, whatever, has been being professional. And we're on a business trip right now. And, you know, we're trying to be professional. You know, we're trying to keep our composure. We're not trying to get into all of the craziness because, you know, whenever it's winter, go home and the other team is losing, you know, they're desperate. And so um, I think we just know what's at stake for us and we know what's on the line. And so we, all we care about is winning. And so we just want to stay together. and. I'll just try to get the team together, you know, huddle up, whatever I've got to do. But um, honestly, so many people do a good job of that. I agree. Yeah. You guys did a great job today. Hawk fans showed up somehow in Pacific yeah. Northwest. No, seriously. <laughs> Coming crazy. out of the woods, literally. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but any of those Hawk fans listening at home who are listening in after mm -hmm. this first game, what can they expect? What, what do you want to say to them? Uh, we're gonna scout the next team the next games and then let's get ready for Sunday um, Thanks for watching you guys have been the backbone of this season all year and we love you guys go Hawks All right. All right. Great game Thank you. And that was Kate Martin joining us uh, from the locker room against Colorado just the other day um, and filling us in on how prepared she was for uh, this elite eight game coming up here in just under 23 minutes. I'm going to take a quick second as well to just hop into the, the conversation I got to have with Coach Bluter. Uh, fun fact about Coach Bluter, she is somebody who likes routine and once we kind of start doing things a certain way, we keep going. So now uh, during the NCAA tournaments, I've been hopping on the court with her uh, to be able to chat with her after these fabulous wins uh, to continue on and keep moving forward here in this tournament. So we're going to catch in with Coach Bluter right now. Coach Bluter, this is becoming a, a pretty nice thing to stop out here on the court with you. I like it. Let's keep doing it. Let's do it again. All right. So now we're on your way yeah. to the Elite Eight with Sounds a great good. win today over Colorado. Sounds good. What were you, would you say are the highlights that you take away quickly? Oh, my gosh. I mean, we had balanced scoring. I think we had four people in double figures. Yeah. I thought Addie, she came in and she did a really good job off the bench. I mean, did, when we were in foul trouble with Monica, Caitlin, of course, was Caitlin. Some beautiful trans transition buckets um, again four people in double figures I love that uh, we did well from the free throw line um, we did 80% so, almost 80% uh, yeah, really really proud of this team and proud of these Hawk fans that came out here to right. Seattle well there might be flights still you have a game coming up then here on Sunday um, what do you do with your team right here do you just get, do you watch this next game you guys get to watch this yes gonna we're gonna go watch we're gonna watch this next game so we know who we're playing you got to love it. They love Caitlin. They do love Caitlin. Oh, my Monica gosh. Tonight. And they should love her. All right, Coach Blue, well, I'll let you go celebrate with your team. Thanks, Jamie. Awesome. Let's game. go, Hawks. And that was Coach Bluter. So excited after the game. You can tell she's starting to lose that voice. I mean, what a great time, though. She does a good job resting it as much as she can uh, during their one off day that they got as Iowa defeated Colorado and then now playing Louisville, um, who defeated, defeated Ole Miss in 72 to 62 in the game just following Iowa um, back on Friday. 
So when we come back, there's a chance Rob will be back. There's a chance he won't be back. Uh, but we are going to take a quick break here. Again, we are Elite Eight game, Louisville Cardinals versus the Iowa Hawkeyes. I'm Jamie KB Lang, waiting for Rob Brooks to come out of that locker room. And uh, we'll just take the break now. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs, but what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now, kids can eat free. What are you craving? The Wigan Pen in Ankeny across from DMAC is proud to be the home of the famous Flying Tomato Pizza. The Wig has all your favorites, including thin crust and Chicago-style pizza, appetizers, lots of sandwiches, pints of beer, plus a full bar. And this family-friendly local favorite is hiring. All ages are encouraged to apply from 15 to 115. Flexible hours and a fun environment? Call or just come on in. The Wigan Pen in Ankeny. What are you craving? Are you craving down-home comfort food? This is Jeff Grunder inviting you to the Machine Shed. We've got weekly features for everyone, starting off with our Kickin' Chicken Tuesdays with classic fried chicken. Then on Smokehouse Wednesdays, we have our slow-roasted hickory smoked ribs. And don't forget our Fish Fry Fridays with fresh North Atlantic cod. Each night is all you care to eat and comes with all the Machine Shed fixings. Bring the family and bring your appetite. I-80 in Hickman Road, Urbandale. And I-80 in Northwest Boulevard, Davenport. Welcome back to Climate Pledge Arena, downtown Seattle, Washington, as we get set for Elite Eight Action Iowa and the Louisville Cardinals. Hawkeyes, of course, come in at 29 and 6, and the Cardinals of Louisville at 26 and 11. The start of the game has been pushed back at least another 20 minutes, and so we'll finally tip off around probably between 6.20 and 6.30. Hawkeyes pregame uh, trying to keep it as routine as possible, but they're going to get a little bit extra time out on the floor as they are doing now to the basket to our right as Louisville is in its locker room. Looking at the paths with both of these teams to get to this point, of course, uh, Louisville, a very storied basketball program. No strangers to the Final Four or the Elite Eight. They've been to four Final Fours since 2009 and uh, had a five seed in this region. So they've kind of played that underdog role all the way through this tournament. But Jeff Walls in his 16th year has had a, a spectacular career at 441 victories, 124 defeats. and. A lot of times when you look at Elite Eight teams or Final Four teams, you go back into the, the first or second round, and a lot of times there's a really close game. And the Cardinals have that in the first round against the Drake Bulldogs mm -hmm. in a back-to-back, back-and-forth -back game. Louisville ended up defeating Drake on its home court in Louisville, 83-81. And that's been the closest game that Louisville has played in the tournament. Took care of Texas at 73-51. Ole Miss at 72-62 really controlled the third and fourth quarters as Iowa did against Colorado. Also a 10-point victory, 87-77 after taking care of Southeastern Louisiana, 95-43, and Georgia, really the toughest game for the Hawkeyes to date at 74-66. But for the Cardinals, this is another defensive-minded team that uh, will pressure the perimeter, uh, throw pressure at you, and that's uh, 
really what uh, Jeff Walls preaches is toughness and defense, but the Hawkeyes have certainly met that match, not only during the regular season, but in tournament play as well. So what's on the line? Well, a lot. A lot. <laughs> the Iowa men last reached the Final Four in 1980, and the Iowa women in 1993 lost to Ohio State in the semifinals by a point. Jamie, that's been a 30-year drought. Right. It's, it's hard to get to this point, but it's uh, even tougher to get to the next. It is. Uh, and that's, I mean, that's what Sue Bird was actually, she, she got to talk with the Hawkeyes today, and that's what she really focused on. She was having a conversation with them about the fact that, like, this is actually the hardest of the games. To get to the Final Four, this is it. Like, once you get there, it's going to be a little bit more fun. But right now, this is the battle to get to that Final Four. And I was primed for it. I think that that was a really realistic conversation she kind of had with them. Like, they're going to come battle, and you need to come and battle and bring your A game. And just, like, that's how you get there. You come out, and you attack, and you bring everything you can and play your game. The last time Iowa reached uh, the Elite Eight back in uh, 2019 in Greensboro, North Carolina, it was going, you went into that game thinking, okay, you've got to play just about perfect, perfect. to beat right. a Baylor team that uh, easily won the national championship that year mm -hmm. and had a great team, and that was Iowa's matchup in the Elite Eight as Louisville hits the court. But this has a different feel to it. it does. This is really anybody's ball game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Louisville, they've been here before. They certainly have the ability. Hawkeyes do as well. And just like on the men's side, you look at the women's side. Of course, uh, South Carolina is undefeated this year. They've won 41 consecutive games, but it doesn't have the feel to it that. You know, maybe in the past when right. you faced a, a great UConn team mm -hmm. or a great Baylor team. Right. Iowa's the, Iowa's the great team. They're the ones coming in here with the advantage, I think. Right. And that hasn't usually been what it's been in the past when they were trying for that that Final Four. Or even in most of the games. Like, Iowa was usually, you know, the underdog or something like that. So, just a whole different view for Iowa today. Um, and hopefully, I think that they do display a different level of confidence and ability that we haven't seen. Um, in the previous year. So really, it's the ball's in their court. Is that a bad time to use that pun? Is that a pun? Euphemism? The ball's in their court. That's right. <laughs> so both teams out warming up, uh, getting ready for tonight's action, which uh, would be right about underway right now. But um, game's running late previous to this one, and they're going to wait it out. And we're probably 15, 20 minutes away from tip. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You are listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Of course, the Hawkeyes at 29 and 6. That is tied for the most victories in program history. Number 30 would be a program record and pretty special heading to Dallas. The winner will be in Dallas next weekend. We'll get the pregame comments from head coach Lisa Bluter. Also tonight's starting lineups and Jamie's keys to a Hawkeye victory and a trip to Dallas. All that after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs, but what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. At Oakmall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! 
When you buy your own health insurance, you deserve a doctor who's your biggest champion and coverage you can be confident in. And with new Wellmark Health Insurance plans featuring Unity Point Health, that's what you can expect. These plans help you build a relationship with your Unity Point Health primary care providers and network partners, starting with free preventive and virtual care, plus low copays for primary care with a doctor who always has your back. Connect with an agent to help you enroll at wellmark.com slash UPH. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Lead 8 Action Iowa and Louisville. Time for the Hy-Vee Shooter Hour. Coach Boone brought to you by Hy-Vee, the official grocery partner of the Iowa Hawkeyes. Score big savings at hyveedeals.com. Well, Coach, uh, one thing about a scouting report, a uh, team you're not really familiar with and uh, you got a short prep, what's the most important uh, when you kind of go to the players and say, hey, what are the kind of the key things getting ready? You know, we talk a lot about knowing your personnel, and um, that is so important in a game like this because we don't know them as well. We are not going to memorize all their plays. We haven't seen them all before. Um, it's really relying on your instincts, those, you know, how you handled screens back in June, what you learned back then, and relying on those instincts. But I think just knowing your personnel and what their strengths and weaknesses are is really, really important in a game like this. What stands out about Weaver? Well, you got to talk about Haley Van Lith. I mean, she is an All-American. Uh, she's averaging 20 points a game. She shoots the ball the most of anybody on the team. Um, she's very left-handed, though. We want to force her right. And uh, Kate Martin's going to start on her, but Gabby will also have opportunities. Krislin Carr is their point guard that shoots the best, 43% from three-point range. Very fast, very small. Uh, Robinson is an excellent defensive player. I'm sure she's going to be all over. Uh, Caitlin and Cochran is their post player that's 6'3", strong, agile, and Monica's going to have her work cut out for her. Just another one of those teams that uh, really kind of uh, wants to play defense and is very aggressive doing it? Very much so. Um, you know, as far as, like, flying all over the place, they'll be very physical. You know, you just hope the officials are going to keep it fair uh, with making uh, some calls and letting, like, Caitlin have some freedom of movement. But we're going to have to box out better than we did the other night just because they are a very good rebounder, rebounding team. Team, and we, we got to have defensive stops because if they make baskets, that's when they can set up in all their variety of presses. Back with more from Coach Bluter after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. At MidAmerican Energy, we want to help keep you safe around power lines and electrical equipment. Always assume a power line is energized, even if it's on the ground. To avoid the risk of an accidental shock or electrocution, avoid touching a power line with anything. And when you see high voltage warnings on transformers and substations, stay away. We care about you and your safety. Get more tips at midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Time to redo this basement? Yeah. A home gym, movie theater, model train utopia. Or yoga studio? I'm flexible-ish. Great. I'll just use the U.S. Bank mobile app so we can plan it out. Which way are you leaning? Setting a savings goal or applying for a home improvement loan? I say we look at both options. Right here in the app. Budget for a really good home gym. We deserve it. <laughs> Noted. Help for today, planning for tomorrow. That's what U.S. Bank is for. 
U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Coach, going back to Louisville defensively, uh, what do you expect them to do against Caitlin, and then how have they been defending the middle? Well, they've been, uh, I mean, they're going to face guard Caitlin. They're going to deny her all over and be physical with her and try not to let her cut or have any movement. Basically, just try not to, to touch the ball. I think on in every inbounds play, they're going to double team her uh, so that she's also got two people on her, kind of sandwiching her. You know, on, on the defense of, of the post, they really, what we've seen is playing on the back or playing three quarters high uh, and just trying to be really physical with those guys. Well, you got four players in double figures the other night. I'm sure you'd like to see that or more tonight. Yeah, I think what's when we're at our best is when we have the variety of scoring. I think, you know, Kate Martin and McKenna Warnock are kind of our X factors. We need their rebounding tonight. We need their defense. Uh, we need them knocking down some threes. We know Gabby's going to do it for us. We know about, you know, Caitlin and Monica. I, I really think, you know, having um, Kate Martin and McKenna step up is going to get us to the final four. Yeah, the third quarter, uh, the other night, the transition game really seemed to get going, and that's when you got a little uh, breathing room. Is that going to be important tonight as well? If we, yeah, absolutely. Uh, that's the way that we can get our, our offense going is through transition, and I think that's one of the weaker part of their games. Uh, and so, yes, we need to push the ball in transition, and the, the way that we get that is through defensive stops. Well, Coach, you said uh, it's still good to be working. It yes. is, and yes. like to work another week. Uh, absolutely. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> Coach Lisa Bluter on the pregame show. We'll be back with more from Seattle after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. When you're in the Eastern Iowa area, be sure to visit and connect with the official local business partners of the Iowa Hawkeyes. The Hotel at Kirkwood Center, Iowa's premier luxury hotel, the Jill Armstrong team, Wiscogman Realty, the area's premier realtor, and Options Exteriors, your preferred local roofing and exterior company. Jill Armstrong and her team strive to make every buyer and seller at ease with the real estate process. Contact the Jill Armstrong team, Wiscogman Realty, for all of your real estate needs. Call 319-631-5455. At Oak Mall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! At Oak Mall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! Another season of women's and men's college sports is underway. Follow your alma mater or favorite team in their pursuit of the prestigious Learfield Directors Cup at L Directors Cup on Twitter and online at thedirectorscup.com. Trophies will be awarded in June 2023 to the winning institutions in all competitive divisions. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics. Welcome back to Seattle as we get set for Elite Eight action. Louisville and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Of course, uh, Louisville took care of Old Miss on Friday night right after Iowa defeated Colorado 87 to 77. And Jamie, there wasn't a lot of celebrating right. after the uh, Sweet 16 game because, yeah, you're happy and you take in that moment, but that's not the destiny of this team, is it? No, I I mean, the Final Four, truly a national championship is their ultimate goal. Um, but right now, you're just going step by step, so their next step is Final Four. That is their next goal. They're ready to move forward with it, and I think they're really ready for that game today, this game today. Coach Bluter has been talking about being unshakable and talked to the team uh, before they hit the floor about, hey, you know, just do everything with class. 
There's going to be some highs and lows out there, as you always talk about in your keys, is the, the waves of the game, and that'll certainly be the case tonight, and it's, it's how you handle those yeah. to make this a four-quarter game. That I have that. Look, that's my first thing I wrote down was controlling the tempo, the vibe. Like, they, you want Iowa to control the feelings out there, um, and that's, yes, right, the waves, but more so you want them to be the leaders of it. You know, they've done a really great job when people are getting chippy out there. They, they come together as a team rather than letting things unravel. And so I was just starting to figure that out so well. Uh, and the second one, I think Iowa has a huge advantage in the post, truthfully. I think, and it could be through drives. It can be by getting the ball in the post. But inside the lane should be a place where Iowa can score. And then the last one is Van Lith. I don't talk a lot about other players because some, a lot of times, I, you know, it's a team. But... Van Lith is, is their team, I think. Like, I think if you can slow her down, don't let her, just slow her down. That's all you'd have to do. You don't have to stop her entirely. But knowing where she is, don't allow her to be that propeller for the team that that's what she normally is. And of course, um, we certainly want to wish uh, associate head coach Jan Jensen and her family uh, the very best uh, passing of Father Dale earlier today. And, um, Coaching with a heavy heart for sure tonight. She's coaching with a heavy heart. Uh, and I mean, she coaches with her heart, right? That is that is Coach Jay. And so she couldn't go into this not having that be something that she's also also thinking about. And But her team also is going to carry that with her. And so she has a lot of people who are taking that, that with them. Um, yeah, so that... I can't imagine what she's feeling or how she's feeling, but we know that she's going to coach with her heart no matter what. No doubt about that. Certainly uh, thinking of the Jan's family uh, tonight. And it's been a, been a tough uh, week for her, certainly, and um, nothing better to, to help things out than a Hawkeye victory. Getting ready for the starting lineups. First off for the... Louisville Cardinals as Nyla Harris will get a start. A 6'2 freshman out of Orlando, Florida. Not a big score, averaging 4.5 and 3.7 rebounds a contest. One local player out of uh, Davenport, Iowa. Chrislyn Carr is a uh, grad transfer to Louisville. She'll play one of the guard positions at 5'5", five five, prepped at uh, Davenport West High School has played at Texas Tech and also Syracuse. And now she's with a team that has a chance to go to the Final Four. Mikasa Robinson averaging six and five boards. A 5-7 guard out of Ashland, Kentucky. And as Jamie talked about, to the leading score, averaging almost 20 points a game. A 5-7 junior, the left-hander Haley Van Lith, who also played with Caitlin Clark, USA Basketball winning a gold medal, so they know each other well. And she is um, actually from the state of Washington. Olivia Cochran at six foot three, the tallest starter for Louisville. Will play one of the forward positions, and she's a junior out of Columbus, Georgia. The steady five for the Hawkeyes, of course, will be in McKenna Warnock, a six one senior out of Madison, Wisconsin. Kate Martin, who was uh, terrific the other night, especially from the free throw line, where she knocked down eight out of 11. Kate from Edwardsville, Illinois. Caitlin Clark, a six foot junior guard out of Des Moines. Abby Marshall, the senior, but coming back next year, five foot nine out of Cincinnati, Ohio. And Watertown, Minnesota's Monica Sonano in the middle at six foot three. Hawkeyes being the better seed. Number two in the regional in the white uniforms as Caitlin Clark is introduced and a big hand for her. And Louisville will be in the road black uniforms with the white Louisville across the front and the white numbers trimmed in red. And Jamie, another terrific crowd. Of course, a lot of Iowa fans are here. Hawkeye Huddle has been packed. Louisville will have uh, their fan base as well. And then I think you've just got the, the sports fans around right. the, the city of Seattle. Well, you see a lot of people are not dressed in Hawkeye gear nor Louisville gear. They're just here to embrace the game and be a part of it. And this is a fabulous matchup of two great guards in the NCAA right now. 
And I'm a bit biased to which one is the better of the guards, but I also think stats-wise, right now, right, uh, Caitlin Clark is just a more is a very complete player uh, coming into this game. Caitlin averaging 26.8, 7.3 rebounds, and 8.6 assists. Haley Van Liff at 19-4. She was first team All ACC. And you can hear the Let's Go Hawks chant, which will be ringing through this arena yes. for four big quarters of basketball, a trip to the Final Four on the line. Louisville has won three in a row. They uh, did lose in the ACC tournament to Virginia Tech, 75-67. But in the month of March, 5-1. and one. And it's a team that knows its way around postseason and March basketball. This team, you can tell that the team is primed. We are starting 20 minutes later than we thought we would be. Uh, but I think all the, the teams are ready. Are you ready, Rob? Ready to go. All right. So it'll be Sonano that will jump center for the Hawkeyes. And Cochran at six foot three for Louisville. And the ball is in the air. Both players tap it. Louisville gets it. And Von Liff fires a three pointer after one dribble off the left wing. No good. And there's an offensive rebound again for Louisville. As Coach Bluter said, that the offensive rebounding. He's got to be much better as Van Liff knocks down a 16-foot jumper and Louisville on the board first. Hawkeyes left to right in front of us. Get the ball quickly in the front court. McKenna Warnock for three. Straight away, bounce twice on the iron. No good. Hawkwin with the rebound for Louisville. Just underway from Seattle. Robinson brings it across the timeline. Louisville will run a little weave on the outside. Von Liff now dribbles behind her back, gets in the paint, and the floater from 10 feet is good. Van Liff is going to definitely, like you said, try to carry this team. That's what she is. She is their propeller. So Van Liff with four, and Louisville is up four to nothing. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Louisville. Clark fires a three-pointer straight away. It's a little bit strong. And the rebound down to Olivia Cochran of Louisville. Robinson will bring it across the timeline. And Louisville will set things up. Here's Carr. Hands it to Von Liff. She uses a screen, gets into the paint. And a mid-range jumper is a little bit strong. Ball batted into the hands of Kate Martin. Bounce pass ahead to Gabby Marshall. Hawks looking to score for the first time, and there's an offensive foul that'll go against Monica Sonano. She was about a foot off the block, and Cochran went down, and the first foul of the ball game goes against Sonano. Now have to really be careful here. Mm -hmm. And Sonano was just posting up, and I think they're that she just Cochran fell, but that's a foul nonetheless. Right side, Van Liff along the baseline, kicks it into the middle, short jumper is up and good by Robinson. Six to nothing, Louisville. Not even two minutes into the game. Martin across the timeline, free throw line extended right. Now dribbles to the high post area, lost control of it. Now Gabby Marshall on the right wing. Clark has hardly touched the ball. Harris comes out on her. Now Sonato inside, she's immediately doubled and tied up. Nice help by Van Liff. But Iowa will retain possession along the baseline, down six to nothing. And so that's something that Monica just not recognized. They're gonna dig in. And here's Martin off the inbounds for three. Missed it left to the top of the key. Three good looks for the Hawkeyes from deep, 0 for three. Louisville into the front court, works it around the arc. Van Liff. Now makes a move. She'll pull up from 15 and knock it down from the right wing. Timeout, Iowa. I mean, obviously not the start that Iowa wanted. 
But we can see right now Van Lith is going to be the person that's going to try to motivate and score all the points for this team. And that's what she does all season, right? There's only two players scoring in double figure, averaging double figures for a reason. Uh, Van Lith is going to be the one who's going to try to bring that team along. Yeah, she has shot 604 times coming into tonight's action. Carr has shot the second most at 349. So she's a, a volume shooter. There's no doubt about that. But she's got that look in her eye right now right. where she has um, knocked down three shots, two in the paint area, and then one. She was out on the right wing, pump fake, took a couple of dribbles and pulled up softly from 15 feet and knocked it down. And Iowa down eight to nothing at the 745 mark of the first quarter. When Iowa's taken three shots so far, all from the three-point line. So they're going to have a conversation. Hey, work the ball around. You can drive into the lane. Those are all options for Iowa just because they give you the three. Also, make sure you're looking for those other opportunities. Tonight's game is brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light proudly welcomes back Hawkeye fans to Carver Hawkeye Arena this year. Bud Light is for the fans. Good timeout by Coach Bluter just yeah. to settle things down and Nope. Monica's touched the ball once. She right. was doubled, turned into a jump ball situation. And she does have one foul. But Louisville, four out of six. And the rebounding, four to one. One offensive rebound for Louisville. We talked to you how important that is tonight for Colorado. That's one statistic they really hung their hat on Friday night. Had 21 O boards to Iowa 7 and out rebounded Iowa 40 to 32. And as Coach Bluter said in the pregame show, that can't happen tonight. Right. That it's a they have to make sure they're boxing out, limiting second chance opportunities. That'll happen sometimes, especially on long ones, three point shots. Might bounce the wrong way. But you really just 21 is way too many. Um, and against a team like Louisville who's starting off pretty hot, you can't allow that. This broadcast of NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship is authorized under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One. It is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the NCAA and Westwood One is strictly prohibited. So Van Liff with six, Robinson with two, and the Hawkeyes lead it eight to nothing. Extended timeout here, so plenty for Coach Bluter to yeah. go over offensively and defensively, and you can see that it's going to be really difficult, uh, at least in the early stages, mm -hmm. to get Caitlin Clark open and free as they're just going to follow her all over the court. Right. And Iowa needs to basically replicate that, though. They want to, they need to probably get more face guard towards Van Lith. Limit opportunities, at least denial, um, a little bit harder on her. She comes off a lot of screens, though. So then it's conversation about what do you want to do on these? Do you want to switch? What it, what's that going to look like? 4 Louisville, it's pretty much man-to-man -man defense. They'll do that about 90% of the time. 10% in a 2-3 zone. And it'll be Iowa basketball down eight to nothing with 7.45 left to go in quarter number one. And the, the waves that we talked about, right. here's the first one. <laughs> the wave is definitely didn't, get us, didn't start by going their way. Full court pressure slapped on by Louisville. Here's Clark in the backcourt, and she traveled. Robinson was there defensively and shuffled her feet before putting the ball on the floor. Louisville will have it on the baseline in their front court. And the ball immediately knocked away by Kate Martin in the corner as they tried to get it to Van Liff. But it will stay with Louisville. Cardinals get it in. Here's a jumper from the right side by Robinson. No good. Fight for the rebound on the weak side. Knocked out of bounds by Harris, Iowa basketball. Great box out. Clark created that because she put a good box out. Actually, it was probably fouled a bit because she was just shoved pretty hard, but good box out by Clark. Clark trying to get it in. Does so to McKenna Warnock. Now back to Caitlin, and she'll jog it across the timeline. Now top of the key, pushes it left side to McKenna Warnock. 
Warnock to Martin. About 35 feet away. Now Clark, high post area, drives down the right side of the lane, spins and goes up and lays it in. Harris just stood still. Clark right. went right Great around her. Speed. She, actually, she paused, did a little bit of a pause, and then just wrapped herself around for a wide open layup and a steal. Here's Clark. Drives down the right side. Shot is up and good with the right hand. And the Hawks have put four in a row on the board. Trail eight to four. Now Robinson across the timeline. Slowing the pace for the Cardinals. Now on the right side, this is Robinson. Looks inside. Shot is up and no good by Harris. Partially blocked by Sonano. Did a good job to hold her position. Here's Clark across the timeline. Step back deep. Three-pointer in and out. Rebound off Cochran's right arm. Nobody in the area. She just couldn't handle it. And it'll be Iowa basketball along the baseline. I love the defensive pressure, though, in that previous play. It was obvious they, they were well prepared. They knew what was happening, and, and you could tell that frustrated Louisville. Martin looks inside, now floats a pass out to Clark. She'll fire a three right wing. There you go. That's a pretty one by Caitlin Clark. Set up right away. It's nice and simple. Seven in a row for Clark. And the Hawks pull to within one. All this after the timeout. Here's Carr. Russell, free throw line extended left. She just came into the game, gets it back from Carr once again, dribbles between her legs, now high post area, drives down the right side of the lane, kicks it back out to Carr for three, drilled it from the right wing. Streaky shooter, but can shoot the three. And that's the other player on their team that hits through, that is basically their scorer. Hawks down 11 to 7. Clark, top of the key, pushes it inside to Monica Sonato, and she is held underneath. I think they'll get it on Cochran, the center for Louisville. Great posting up, but you can see the Louisville. They are sagging it. Hawks ball possession, and it's tipped out of bounds. Touched last by Louisville right now. But did the official at midcourt see something different? They just get together, call will stay, Iowa basketball. 544, first quarter, 11 to 7 in favor of Louisville. After the Cardinals got off to an 8 to nothing lead. McKenna Warnock for three. That's an air ball right side. But Sonato gets the rebound. Pushes out to Marshall for three. Top of the key. Rattles around. No. Rebound taken down by Robinson. The threes are there. They're just in and out, barely off. And here is a 15-foot jump shot by Robinson straight away, and she drills it. Robinson with four, had 11 against Old Miss on Friday night. 13 to seven in favor of the Cardinals. Here's Clark on the right wing, gets it back to Martin. Now Caitlin, free throw line extended right. Behind the arc, dribbles between her legs, now tries to go baseline and kicks it back up top to McKenna Warnock for three, got it. There they are, all right, you can feel it. McKenna Warnock, fabulous, she's almost 40% from the three point line. Yes, keep shooting. Hawks pull to within three. Louisville with the basketball. Carr on the left wing. Gets it to Cochran, 15 feet away from the hoop. Now back to Carr. Van Liff fakes and now will fire a three left wing. A little bit strong. Weak side board to Gabby Marshall. I was switched to a 2-3 zone and it looks much better against Louisville. Oh my God. Down court pass. Clark finds a wide open McKenna Warnock for a right-handed layup off the window. Warnock gets rewarded. For, she does a great job of cutting to the open spaces, and Clark can always see it. Well, that was the problem for Colorado, especially in that third quarter. J.R. Payne, the head coach, talked about it. Never seen a team with all five players able to run the floor like Iowa. Hawks down one. Cardinals with the basketball. Turnaround jumper, Cochran baseline, no. And a foul will be called on the Hawkeyes. Cochran's a big body, but she's not looking to score the way like Sonano does. So, yes, Iowa plays hard against her, but she isn't the one that's looking to score, even though she looks like she would be effective. Just averages eight points a game. That foul on Kate Martin. So one on Sonano, one on Martin. 4.03 left to go. First quarter timeout on the floor from Seattle. It is 
Louisville 13, Iowa 12. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. At U.S. Cellular, we think phones are great, but they're not always great for us. Because while they connect us to so much, they can also distract us from, well, us. The us that actually laughs out loud with each other instead of just texting it. That knows being in the same room doesn't always mean being together. So let's find us again by putting our phones down. Not forever, just for five. Five days, five hours, even five minutes. Join U.S. Cellular in the Phones Down for Five Challenge. Find out more at uscellular.com slash find us. Today is the day. After countless hours of research, cutting back expenses, and nine months of anxiously waiting for her, today is the day you finally bring home your new car. It's also the day to protect her with an auto policy from Shelter Insurance. Our policies are competitively priced and include new car replacement coverage if anything were to happen to your new baby. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com. We're your shield. We're your shelter. We all love a good win. Catching up with friends, saving money at the pump, soaking up the perfect Iowa day, sitting down to a really, really good meal. These are the everyday delights that make us smile. These are the moments that connect us all as Iowans. And these are the wins that, more often than not, start with Iowa's farm families and the crop they're growing. Because when corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. Learn more about how to share your own wins at iowacorn.org backslash Iowans win. After the Cardinals jumped out to an 8 to nothing lead at the 7.48 mark of the first quarter, Lisa Bluter called timeout, settled her team down, and Caitlin Clark scored seven in a row. Yeah. And now Iowa pulls to within one, 13 to 12. Seven for Clark, five for Warnock, and two out of eight from three-point range. But now Clark's hit one, and McKenna Warnock's hit right. one. And we got to see, I mean, Gabby Marshall held pretty scoreless, right? I don't remember exactly how many points she had against Colorado. Seven. Seven. But didn't get a lot of looks. Uh, see if she can get some more looks today and get back on that roll we've seen her on. Need to recycle old working refrigerators and deep freezers? Visit midamericanenergy.com for details plus energy saving tips. When corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. Take a closer look and you'll discover the many connections you have to corn. And those connections translate into wins for farmers and wins for all Iowans. Share your winning moments using hashtag Iowans win. Well, you certainly feel a lot better now you than you did uh, three minutes ago. Right. Iowa does a good job of responding, though. We know that that's actually a strength of Iowa is they go into half times and they usually come out and have a really great third quarter, no matter what the game is, because they do they do respond. They listen well. They're very coachable, as, as the term would go. They listen and they respond. So Cochran at the free throw line. Shoots him at 65% after being fouled by Kate Martin on a baseline jumper. First one is in the air, got it. Olivia Cochran, second team all ACC. 6'3 senior, that's her first point tonight. Second one, got it. Louisville is a 75% free throw shooting team. Hannah Stalky into the game. Gets the ball into Martin, now to Clark, across the timeline, pushes it right side, Gabby Marshall for three, in and out, Stalky the rebound. Anna didn't play much on Wednesday or on uh, Friday night. See if she gets more minutes tonight. Here's Clark at the free throw line, gets into the paint, shot is up, no good, but a foul in the act of shooting against the Cardinals. Great drive by Clark. She was driving in. She was looking to pitch as well. If anybody would have helped off, she was waiting for it so she could pitch away. But it was still one on one. Good strong take. Foul on Robinson. It's Clark at the line. First one rolls around and drops through. That's eight for Caitlin Clark coming off of 31 and eight assists against Colorado. Second one. Got it. Clark has nine of the 14, and it's 15-14 Louisville with the lead in the basketball. 340 left to go in the first from Seattle. Here's Carr, dribbles to the right wing. Van Liff, Robinson 
On the left side, Stalky comes out on her in the 2-3 zone. Cross-court pass to Carr, who buries the three-pointer right in front of the Iowa bench. Carr, just sh the only thing she shot is threes, two of them, and hit both. Here's Martin, gets it into Stalky, tries to create some space, goes up with the left hand, in the paint, no good. Rebound Louisville, look to push along the sideline. Cardinals by four. Now we'll set up the offense. Carr fires from 17 straight away. No good. Hawkeyes lose control of the ball. Sonano and Clark going after it. Bounces out of bounds along the baseline over to the Cardinals. Sonano will get a break. McKenna Warnock back into the game. And oh. here's an interception by Warnock, but she stepped out of bounds as they tried to get the ball from the right side to the left corner. What they're saying. They're saying the clock should not have changed. Okay. Yeah, because McKenna Warnock caught right. it out of bounds. Inside off the inbounds play. Russell with the short jumper. No good. Short off the window. Marshall the rebound across the timeline. Pushes left side to Kate Martin. Lost control of the ball but gathered it. Dribble between her legs. Now to Clark. Fakes. Car on her. Step back. Three left wing. Oh Got it. Gosh, Created Clark. some space. She's creating space and she's getting... She is frustrated. She's getting a lot of body on her and she's going to keep trying to create and she's hitting those threes. But those are things that can motivate Clark. Hawks pull to within one. Van Liff weaves around and then fires from 18. No. Nice box out by Stalky. The rebound to Warnock. Hands it off to Marshall, who gives it back to Clark. She'll walk it across the timeline. Angle right side. Robinson comes out on her. Step back three. Pointer. Got it. Right at the top of the key. 15 for Clark. Hawks by two. Wow. Robinson into the front court. Van Liff pushes herself into Stolke, the paint. Look at brick wall. And loses control of the ball. Here's Clark, pushes it down court. Warnock oh. had a layup, but then lost control of it and out of bounds along the baseline. Oh, man. Louisville basketball, Iowa up to 155 left to go first quarter. But what? A fabulous, fabulous little run right there that Iowa had. 6-0 run on paper, but also physically. You can feel it out there, the, the energy. And Coach Bluter really on the officials about the physical play of Louisville. But as we've seen, these officials just aren't going to call it very often. Clark in the corner, dribbles into the paint, fires right side to Jones into the game. Cross-court pass to Robinson, and then Stolke does a great job defensively as they tried to get it inside to Dixon. And that's what you got with Stolke. That's it, you know, when Stolke's in, she's quick, quick feet, so you can get those steals, those touches. Step back three, Clark rimming no, missed it left to the top of the key. Hawks by two, Louisville pushing the ball. Here's Clark on the left wing. Carr then throws it away. Good defense by Caitlin. Now she has the ball, dribbles into the paint. Right side, Marshall. Now Clark on the right wing as well, looking inside, whips a pass cross court to Kate Martin for three. Got it. There's that glue. Martin had 16 against Colorado. Her first basket, Iowa goes up 23-18. 47 seconds left to go in the first. Here's Carr, left wing for the Cardinals. Clark comes out on her, she'll fire a three-pointer and swish it. So well, Carr's, you got to get out on her now. Carr's demanding respect. So Iowa, yes, they're in a 2-3, but they can play defense still. Out. Just get out there more, hands up. That's three threes for Chris Lynn Carr from Davenport West High School. Hawks by two with the basketball. 15 on the shot clock, 18 on the game clock. Clark out near midcourt. Keeps that right-handed dribble going. Morgan Jones on her off the Louisville bench. Here's Clark with five. <laughs> Step back from 18. Gets a pass inside to Warnock. Goes off the glass. Layup oh, good. Yes. Do you think she timed, she made that roll happen just to take another second off the clock? What a pass by Clark. Who and, did free herself up, Jamie, from 15 feet. But then 
a double was coming. She could have taken left, an, uh, off, Warnock. Right, an unbalanced shot, but she did a good job of seeing Warnock, placed it so well, kept it up high, and then Warnock, at the end of a quarter or any time where there's a tight timeline, Warnock has an uncanny ability to know exactly when she has to shoot it. We've seen it happen in multiple games. She does a great job of shooting it and getting it off in time. She's got that internal clock. The Hawks have a great opportunity to get something up at the end of the quarter, just as they did with McKenna Warnock's layup. We've played 10 minutes, and this has been quite a 10 minutes of basketball. Caitlin Clark with 15 in the first quarter, Warnock with 7, Iowa 25, Louisville 21. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, we want to help keep you safe around power lines and electrical equipment. Always assume a power line is energized, even if it's on the ground. To avoid the risk of an accidental shock or electrocution, avoid touching a power line with anything. And when you see high voltage warnings on transformers and substations, stay away. We care about you and your safety. Get more tips at midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Axe throwing is not just for lumberjacks anymore, it's for everyone. Are you looking for some competitive fun in the Des Moines area? Ironside Axe Club offers parties, corporate team building, and leagues. Come let us teach you how to throw axes or come to sharpen your skills. It's great as a date night and even better with a group of friends. Check out our weekly activities, including morning blend networking, lunch and throw, trivia, Thirsty Thursday, and league. Visit our website at ironsideaxeclub.com and unleash your inner Viking. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now, kids can eat free. Twenty-five, twenty-one. Welcome back, courtside. Hawkeyes have the lead. Rob Brooks and Jamie K.B. Lang. University of Iowa Healthcare has the game plan for your same-day healthcare needs. If you need treatment for a common illness or minor injury, visit one of several UI Quick Care or Urgent Care locations throughout the Iowa City Cedar Rapids corridor. Their care and expertise will help you get back in the game. UI Healthcare proud to sponsor your Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, we told you that uh, Caitlin Clark has 15 points. She also has four assists, Jamie, which means she has scored or assisted on all 25 Iowa points. I mean, well, we were talking earlier, though, about Herb and Van Lith, right? Two great guards, and I said she is the more complete player, and you can tell. Clark loves to be a part of things, but she creates so well. Uh, she makes it impossible to focus only on her because she knows she has great teammates that can support and can score just as well. So uh, shares the ball really well, but also Iowa shooting better from the three-point range. Has started off the game a little bit cold, um, have warmed up quite a bit. Clark specifically, she's three of six. A lot of those being long range, not just, you know, right at the three-point line by any means. But Warnock also has hit, Kate Martin has hit. So hoping that you get some the players warming up. Well, the way Louisville has played defensively, and you mentioned it in the first quarter, really packing that middle. Mm -hmm. So it's been tough to get the ball inside, which means the transition game is going to be really key, right. but also long-range shooting. Yeah. And Iowa does. I mean, they're pretty good at shooting. They're doing our good today. They're hitting them. Um, the things that they're going to have to come out and do, though, is making sure I like the zone. The zone is working really well for them. They just have to know where Carr is and get out there a little bit quicker since she is currently three for three from the three-point line. And she's a 42% three-point shooter. They've shot over 200 of them this year. Iowa by four. Cardinals will have the basketball to start quarter number two at midcourt. Robinson angles right side, hands it off to Van Lift, who scored the first six for Louisville. Over and back. None since. Said Marshall tapped it. Carr retrieved it. Now Jones, mid-range jumper left wing, no good. Weak side board along the baseline to Clark. 
Eyes down court, crosses the timeline. Pushes the ball to the right wing. Now Van Lith on her, two good friends. And ball is knocked away by Louisville as Clark tried to get it to Marshall. And a tie-up situation on the right side of the floor. Iowa basketball. Good hustle by Sonato to at least get her hand on the ball so that wasn't a complete turnover right there. Turn it into a jump ball opportunity. So the Hawks will have it along the baseline. Clark will throw it in, just lobs it out to Warnock. Now back in the corner to Clark for three, swishes it. The fingers. I'm just worried they're like so hot right now. Do you think she's okay? Perfect release on that one by Clark. She has 18. The Hawkeyes go up by seven. Robinson, nice move along the baseline, drops it inside to Cochran, and her layup is good. 6-3, Cochran with four. That's her first hoop. Not a big score at eight a game. Marshall across the timeline. Right side to Kate Martin, 28-23 Iowa. Now here's Clark. Goes to the right against Morgan Jones off the Louisville bench. Lob pass into Sinano. It is fronted and knocked out of bounds by the Cardinals. Iowa basketball along the baseline. And Robinson is really helping in on the weak side. So even if it gets there, Monica's going to have to make sure she keeps that ball up. Clark gets it to Marsh on the right wing. Now back to Clark. Whips it inside Sinano. She goes up strong and finishes off the window. Great look inside and absolutely open. Nice reversal, topping in works. First hoop for Monica Sonano. Iowa 30, Louisville 23. Here's a drive down the left side of the lane by Jones. Her left-handed layup is good. Morgan Jones, very good off the bench against Old Miss Friday. She had 11 and seven rebounds, her first basket. And this pass is tipped away as Clark tried to get it to Sonano. Down court pass to Jones. She lost control of it in her attempt to go up for a layup. Out of bounds to Iowa. Play's never dead. Good hustle. That was Clark. Got back there. At least made Louisville, you know, second guess it a little bit. Turned into a turnover. Hawks against full court pressure. Get it into Sonano. She holds the ball above her head. Now hands it to Clark across the timeline on the right wing. She's doubled, goes to the baseline. Somebody's got to be open, and she calls a timeout to save the possession. Got trapped in the corner. And not what Coach Luder wants, because she already took one timeout, right? Normally, one timeout during in the first half is fine. Coach Luder wants to save them, but there, it's already gone. <laughs> Use it well. Now is your chance to make a difference. Join the Swarm and partner with Iowa's women's basketball program to serve charities in Eastern Iowa. Learn more at iowaswarm.com. That's Iowa Swarm. We'll take a break. 7 and 55 left to go. Second quarter, Iowa 30, Louisville 25. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Congratulations. You're having a little girl. At that moment, everything changed. Our hopes and dreams for ourselves were instantly replaced by our hopes and dreams for her. We got life insurance policies from Shelter Insurance so that regardless of what life throws at us, we'll still be able to provide the world to her. Visit shelterinsurance.com to find an agent to help you pick a policy that's right for you. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all-wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Hawks have shot the ball very well in the NCAA tournament and a good start. 11 out of 20, 55 percent. Now six of 14 from three. That's uh, just under 43 percent. Knocked down both free throws. That was Caitlin Clark. Louisville, kind of the same numbers. 10 out of 19 from the floor, just under 53 percent. Three out of five from three. All three, though, coming from 
Chrislin Carr. And two out of two from the free throw line. So not a lot of fouls so far tonight. No, they're not going to call a lot, but Coach Buter's going to stay on them, right? These are things that you have to keep. It's happening, it's happening. Because if you let it go and you don't say anything, then they're definitely not going to call it. So Iowa will remain vocal about it, trying to make sure and draw attention to the fact that they are uh, putting their hands on, on Clark and others, but Melissa Clark. So, but so far, Iowa doing a really great job, I think, of dealing with the pressure. They've started to take control of the game. And now they're going to have to have a conversation, though, about that double that Louisville's throwing sometimes because it, it comes intensely at you. Clark with 18 also has five assists. Remember, the Cardinals got off to a really good start, eight to nothing. And then the Hawkeyes scored seven in a row as Louisville has had the lead for seven minutes and 29 seconds. Iowa for 4-21. Have it now by five at 32-25. Four players have scored for Iowa. Six for Louisville. Cardinals 26 and 11 on the season. Hawkeyes looking for a program record 30 victories. Hawkeye basketball along the baseline in their front court. Clark lobs it out to the top of the key. Marshall looks inside, but now feeds left wing Martin. Now Clark in between the circles. Tate came over to the right side. Lob pass underneath Sonano. Up and under layup is good over Cochran. Every shot's a good shot for Sonano. <laughs> nice reverse layup there. Gathered herself. Was underneath the basket, but no, she can shoot the reverse layup like it's a normal shot. Made that one on the left side. Sonano over 67% from the field. Here's Jones. Just left to the top of the key. Now gets into the paint. Now gets it back to Cochran. Way out of her range. Now to Carr. Bounce pass right side. Now in the corner, Jones. Baseline jumper 15 is good. Jones with four off the Louisville bench. 32-27. Fox on top of the basketball. Approaching seven left to go until halftime. Clark is doubled out on the perimeter. And immediately tied up. Out near the hash mark, and that's going to be possession arrow to the Cardinals. And they're looking to specifically try to double Clark, and so that's she's just going to have to be prepared for that. Which Coach Bluter figured that they would do. Here's Cochran, faked a three, no threat to shoot that. Drops it inside to Jones. She's in the paint. Now whips it to Robinson. Shot from the elbow is good. Robinson with six, hit that from 15, 32-29 Iowa. Here's Clark, top of the key, fakes a three, left side, Warnock will fire a three, got it. And that's just unselfish basketball. Clark did have a shot, but Warnock was a little bit more open, and I love it. Warnock with 10, had 12 and four rebounds against Colorado Friday. Iowa by six, Cardinals with the basketball. Here's Iowa's Cochran. in a triangle in two right now. Hands it off to Robinson. She'll fire a medium-range jumper right side. No. Weak side board to Sonato. Gets it to Clark. Caitlin across the timeline. In between the circles. Fakes left. Now in the corner, Warnock. She'll fire another three. So ish. <laughs> Warnock forcing the timeout from Louisville. Warnock. She's an amazing shooter, but she's even outdoing herself today. She's three of five. She is 60% from the three-point line. Clark is four of seven. So Iowa, again, started cold. Definitely have turned up the heat on the three-point arc. Well, when the double comes out to Clark, they're leaving Warnock. Yeah, so she, the thing that Clark just has to make sure and do is get rid of the ball before it turns into that trap. Because once the trap comes, they are a taller trap. This is just a 30-second timeout. Jeff Walls calls it. Warnock leading a 6-0 run. That's all. It's a Warnock run, actually. <laughs> Warnock run. And Louisville, they've made four of their last five, so it's just been back and forth. It has. Iowa, this is the biggest, I think, lead they've had so far, a nine-point lead. 38-29, 5-52 left to go, second quarter. Called play for Louisville out of the timeout. Robinson, he's that left-handed dribble going. Now into the corner to Harris. She'll fire a 15-foot jumper. No, Warnock, weak side board. And then has it taken away. 
tapped by Robinson, but then re-stolen by the Hawkeyes with Clark across the timeline. Right side, cross-court pass to Marshall. She'll dribble it back out, about 28 feet away from the hoop. Hawks working it around the perimeter. Now Clark will fire a three straight away. Knocks shoot. it down. Did you see how fast that came off of her hand? In order to get that off, she had to shoot it like lightning. Not 21. Only, yeah, not just lightning, but lightning and in the hoop. 41-29, Hawkeyes. Robinson along the baseline. Van Liff fakes a three left wing. Gives it to Robinson. Her long two, no good. Rebound underneath to Louisville, and we've got a foul. Cochran got it. Cochran got the ball. Hawkeye foul. Iowa now is it. Now on a 9-0 run off of two Warnock threes and a Clark three. Can they get one more stop here? Clark picks up the foul. Molly Davis into the game for the first time. She'll defend Carr off the inbounds play. Louisville lost control of the ball deep in the corner, but regained. Here's Robinson at the free throw line. Now kicks it right side as Russell tried to make a move, and as she tried to spin a foot off the block, she's called for a clear out. Great defense. That's McKenna Warnock did a good job getting in between her. Robinson's not looking to score. That's not her normal thing. So it's going to be a little bit different when she, if she's trying to drive in to create. Molly Davis in the backcourt with the basketball. Against Van Liff. And now an offensive foul will be called against Molly Davis. A bit of a flop. Louisville basketball. Davis, her first. That's the team's fourth. 41-29 Iowa. 4.25 left to go, second quarter. Van Lift in between the circles. Hits the ball to Robinson, 15 feet away. Van Lift coming off a screen and buries the 15-footer left wing. That's her first point since those immediate six she got to start the game. Box by 10 with the ball. Now Martin brings it across the timeline. Carr comes out on her. Bounce pass to Molly Davis. Floater in the paint is short. Russell the rebound. Gets it to head to Van Liff. She'll fire a three-pointer and drill it from the left wing in transition. Iowa, great job on her, but that was a transition three. We haven't seen her been, had the opportunity to take. Davis hands it off to Clark. Caitlin's out near the timeline. 41-34 Iowa. Maybe Marshall getting ready to come back in. And now a three-pointer. Molly Davis right wing no good. Off an inside outside move. Nice pass by Sonato. Here's Carr right wing. Gets it back to Russell. Her three-pointer no good. Nice box out by Sonato as she tries to dribble out of a double team and a foul called on the Cardinals. You don't see her do that, but dribble out very often. She did that one knowing she was going to draw a foul. As opposed to you're not going to, you don't dribble unless you have a true purpose, and that was her purpose there. She knew she was going to draw it. Robinson picks up her second. Hannah Stalky back into the game. She'll play the five for Sonato. Yeah, that was a good read by Monica because she was going to get tied up. Yep. But a couple dribbles drew the foul because they were tightening up on her. Fox will face full court pressure. Warnock gets it into Clark. Caitlin against good friend Haley Van Liff. And now Clark step back three short. Missed it from the left of the top of the key. 41-34 Iowa. And then Kate Martin collides with Robinson in the backcourt. And that's going to be number two on Kate. And that'll get Sydney Falter into the game. First time we have seen Sid. It'll be Louisville basketball at half court, 41-34 Iowa. We're under three. And since Iowa's run, they haven't scored in the last two minutes, 20 seconds. So you're, you're thinking, okay, let's get something back on the board. Here's Carr. Hands it off to Van Lith. She goes to work one-on-one, -on -one, tries to get into the paint, lost control of the ball, dug up by Stalky, and she is held as she tried to bring the ball above her head. I believe that'll go on Liz Dixon. That'll be her first. 
Ball possession for the Hawks. Warnock looks, gets it in to Clark. Pushes it to Warnock, who will bring it across the timeline. Now hands it off to Clark. Caitlin on the left wing. Russell comes out on her. Now a falter along the baseline goes up, and a blocking foul will be called on Louisville. Two shots for Sydney a falter. And so there's a bit of a transition right now. It feels like these refs are ready to start calling some fouls, so Iowa needs to adjust to that quickly. We don't need to get into foul trouble on our end, but you do want to exploit it on that end by driving in more. Like Sydney a falter, great read, good drive. A falter's first is good. And she drew a foul on Van Lip. That's her first. First bench point for the Hawkeyes tonight. A falter's second, perfect. 43-34, 2.25 left to go, second quarter. Robinson, top of the key, behind the arc, feeds to Russell. Free throw line extended right. Inside, outside action, Russell, wild, long range shot from the right wing, into the hands of Clark. Brings it across the timeline, angles right side, whips a pass inside to Hannah Stalky, left-handed layup is good. Great job spreading the floor. Quick movement. Didn't allow for the defense to get set up. 45-34. Russell will continue to fire, and she knocks down a three left to the top of the key. That's just the first make for Russell. But a capable three-point shooter off the Louisville bench. 45-37. 1.37 left to go. A falter in between the circles. Hands it off to Clark on the March Madness logo. Robinson comes out on her. Angles right side. Cross court pass to Gabby Marshall for three. Oh, in and out. On. And then a foul by a falter going after the rebound against Robinson. Good shot by Gabby Marshall. It's going to go in. Right. And you just saw Caitlin Clark go over and talk to her like it's going to go in. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it to you again. Yep, she's 0 for 3. But they're the really in and out ones. Luck. Right? Yep. They're the in and out ones. And so those are the things like, oh. 45-37. Hawkeyes with the lead. Louisville with the basketball. Robinson on the right side. Dixon comes out to screen for her. Robinson points around. And then now gives it to Van Liff, who will bury a three-pointer from the right wing. Guys get it in quickly on top by five. We're under a minute, second quarter. Here's Clark in between the circles. Angles right side, now whips a pass into the corner. Here's Marshall again. This one no good, but a Fulter there for the rebound and left-handed put back. There we go. A Fulter coming in and putting in some great minutes for the Hawks. Like O'Grady did on Friday night. Yes. Hawks by seven, Louisville with the basketball. Iowa will get it back. Here's Van Liff, who has 14. A falter comes out on her near and You know Van Liff wants to take the shot, so Iowa can play it that way. And a little hesitation at the three-point arc and then made a move. And Stalky came out and knocked her over. So two shots for Haley Van Liff. That gives Iowa, she, they have 24 seconds. Last second, they get to take the last shot of the quarter. I think it looks like you got all the starters back in, right? Yeah, Martin is back. Kono has come in for Louisville. 5'10 senior. Van Liff, first one, gets the roll. Averages 19-4, looking for her 16th point. And there it is. And that will get Russell back into the game for Kono. Walks against pressure with 22 seconds. Can hold for the final shot on top by five. Here's Clark. Harris out on her. Clark at the timeline. Angles left side. And a... Blocking foul will be called on Nyla Harris. 
7.5 on the clock. And, Clark and two shots for Caitlin. Clark's doing such a good job right now of not extending her arm. You actually see her drop her full arm down to make sure she's not going to get any push off calls because we don't, that's not something she can afford right now. And so I think she's doing a good job of keeping that in check. And they'll have 7.5 seconds to play defense. Clark makes the first. Second one, no good off the right side of the rim with seven seconds. Van Lith across the timeline. She'll pull up and is fouled with 1.5. She'll get two. And that's going to be the second foul on Caitlin Clark. So Van Lith, first one short. Iowa, 1.5 seconds. You can, if you get the ball into get to Clark, she can take one dribble and a shot. Second one, good. She has 17. Kono comes back in. 48-43. Get you a station ID right after the end of this quarter. Clark will just hold the ball, and that will do it. Iowa, Iowa leaving the half with that five-point lead. I'm going to say it's okay. The five-point lead is a nice thing to take with them, especially after not having the best start. Kept the lead. Louisville scored the first eight points of the ball game, but then Caitlin Clark reeled off seven in a row. Iowa 48, Louisville 43. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. It's a great time to join the Iowa Lottery's free VIP club. Members receive free plays, special offers, insider news, and can enter promotions to win cash and other great prizes. Visit www.ialottery.com slash VIP to learn more. Attention Hawkeye fans who buy your own health insurance. Wellmark is on your side and on the health insurance marketplace. Let's give it up for plans you can afford. The freedom to go to almost any doctor in Iowa and free virtual care. Check out wellmark.com slash swish to compare plans. Bud Light halftime show coming up from Seattle, Iowa 48, Louisville 43 at the half. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. At Opal, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at opal.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! You probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs, but what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. When you buy your own health insurance, you deserve a doctor who's your biggest champion and coverage you can be confident in. And with new Wellmark Health Insurance plans featuring Unity Point Health, that's what you can expect. These plans help you build a relationship with your Unity Point Health primary care providers and network partners, starting with free preventive and virtual care, plus low copays for primary care with a doctor who always has your back. Connect with an agent to help you enroll at wellmark.com/uph. 
When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now kids can eat free. It's time for the halftime show brought to you by Bud Light. Bud Light probably welcomes Hawkeye fans to Carver Hawkeye Arena throughout the year. Bud Light is for the fans. Hawks led by four after one, 25-21. And outscored Louisville by one in the second, 23-22. Lead at 48-43. High scoring game, Jamie. Both teams uh, shooting good percentages from the field. Right. This has been, I mean, a really great half. This is what type of, this is the type of game you want to see here in the Elite Eight. And even more so if you're a Hawkeye fan, this is the type of game you want to see because Iowa gets to end the half with a five-point lead. Uh, but taking a look more at these stats, two players finishing are in double figures right now for the Hawks. Caitlin Clark shooting really well from the field, 22 points, 7 of 11 from the field, 5 of 9 from the three-point line. 13 points coming from McKenna Warnock. She's 3 of 5 from the three-point line. Four from Sonano and a Fulter each. Three from Martin and two from Hannah Stolke. For Louisville, being led by Van Lith with 17 points. Carr has nine points on three of three shooting from the three-point line. Six coming from Robinson and then four or less for the other three players. Stats-wise, Iowa winning the rebounding battle actually by one right now. 15 rebounds to 14 rebounds over Louisville. Actually, and Iowa has four O-boards themselves. One of those coming, I remember, off of Fulter. One of those coming from, I think, Hannah Stolke. So everyone just getting in there and getting those second-chance opportunities for the Hawkeyes. Um, Iowa sharing the ball really well. 11 assists, eight from Caitlin Clark in that stat, uh, that stat line. Five assists coming from Robinson over for Louisville. They have eight assists as a team. Iowa has just seven turnovers right now. Louisville, eight turnovers. Iowa has six steals, though. They've really gotten after it sometimes on that defensive end. Kate Martin and Caitlin Clark each having two of those. Shooting well, as you said, Rob, 55% uh, from the field, 43% from the three-point line, and 83% from the free-throw line, and very similar from Louisville, 54% from the uh, field, 67% from three-point line, but only have shot nine versus Iowa shot 21, and they are 83% also from the free-throw line. Got to feel good. Iowa's been able to uh, get into transition. Obviously, uh, Clark, a spectacular first two quarters with 22, and then uh, Haley Van Lith, who scored uh, the first eight for Louisville and then silenced for quite a while, then got going toward the end of the second quarter, has 17. Those are the two leading scores. Iowa 48, Louisville 43 at the half. We'll check the U.S. Bank scoreboard when we come back to Seattle. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. At Oak Mall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! 
axe throwing is not just for lumberjacks anymore. It's for everyone. Are you looking for some competitive fun in the Des Moines area? Ironside Axe Club offers parties, corporate team building, and leagues. Come let us teach you how to throw axes or come to sharpen your skills. It's great as a date night and even better with a group of friends. Check out our weekly activities, including morning blend networking, lunch and throw, trivia, Thirsty Thursday, and league. Visit our website at ironsideaxeclub.com and unleash your inner Viking. At MidAmerican Energy, we want to help keep you safe around power lines and electrical equipment. Always assume a power line is energized, even if it's on the ground. To avoid the risk of an accidental shock or electrocution, avoid touching a power line with anything. And when you see high voltage warnings on transformers and substations, stay away. We care about you and your safety. Get more tips at midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hey, burger lovers. This is Jill from the Burger Shed. Have you tried one of our signature handcrafted burgers? You've got to try a fan favorite, the Shed Burger. It comes with in-house smoked brisket, pepper jack cheese, and the Shed's barbecue sauce. For all of our pork lovers out there, you got to get your hands on the Apocalypse Now Burger, which comes with a pork patty topped with hand-pulled smoked pork, pepper jack cheese, and bacon jam. Burger Shed. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Fast Pro Drive and Altoona. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of Iowa. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Hawks on top in the Elite Eight. 48-43 over Louisville. Let's check the U.S. Bank scoreboard. Not many teams uh, left playing in college basketball. Put your trust in a bank that's been focused on serving the people and businesses in Iowa and all across the country since 1863. That's U.S. Bank. Stop by your local branch or log on today. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. LSU is off to the Final Four, defeated Miami 54-42. And then uh, tomorrow, it is Maryland and South Carolina, and Ohio State and Virginia Tech. Three Big Ten teams in the Elite Eight. On the men's side today, tough loss for uh, Greg McDermott and the Creighton Blue Jays. Lost by one to San Diego State 57-56. And then Miami of Florida roared back to defeat Texas 88 to 81 as San Diego State and Miami off to the final four. 48-43 Iowa over Louisville. We're at the half. More halftime show coming up presented by Bud Light. After the break, this is Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. Time to redo this basement. Yeah. A home gym, movie theater, model train utopia. Or yoga studio. I'm flexible ish. Great. I'll just use the U.S. Bank mobile app so we can plan it out. Which way are you leaning? Setting a savings goal or applying for a home improvement loan? I say we look at both options right here in the app. Budget for a really good home, Jim. We deserve it. <laughs> Noted. Help for today, planning for tomorrow. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. At U.S. Cellular, we think phones are great. But they're not always great for us. Because while they connect us to so much, they can also distract us from, well, us. The us that actually laughs out loud with each other instead of just texting it. That knows being in the same room doesn't always mean being together. So let's find us again by putting our phones down. Not forever, just for five. Five days, five hours, even five minutes. Join U.S. Cellular in the Phones Down for Five Challenge. Find out more at uscellular.com slash find us. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. 
Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kids meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores, where right now, kids can eat free. And welcome back to halftime of the Elite Eight game of Iowa versus Louisville here in Seattle, Washington. Uh, Iowa leading by five here at halftime, 48 to 43. We're going to take a quick look here at points in the paint. Iowa has 16 points in the paint, while the Cardinals have 10 points in the paint. So winning the battle in those high percentage shots. And when we come back, we'll see how they're going to start off and carry that five-point lead into the third quarter. Again, Iowa 48, Louisville 43. This is Hawkeye Sports from Learfield. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah. That's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. You probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs, but what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. This year, we considered hiring an ad agency to help with our marketing. They pitched impressive visuals and a script that was inspiring. And exotic animal mascots to help grab your attention. In the end, we just decided to tell it to you straight. Shelter Insurance has award-winning customer service at affordable rates. Plus, our local agents are there to help you understand what coverage you need. To find an agent near you, visit shelterinsurance.com and switch today. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Just about ready to start quarter number three from Seattle. Trip to the final four on the line. Iowa 48, Louisville 43. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, locally owned and operated and voted best of the area for the 10th consecutive year. Proudly supports Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball. Trust Dodge Street Tire for honest auto repair and the best deals on Goodyear and Toyo tires. Dodge Street Tire and Auto, celebrating over 30 good years on the corner of Dodge and Church Streets. Well, Rob, I'm ready for this half. See if the Hawks can get off to a really good start. Trying to get that double-digit lead, and every time that Iowa's had that nine-point lead, and you think, mm -hmm. can you get it to 13 or 14? Credit Louisville. Right. They've come right back with runs of their own. Mm -hmm. They just might not be able to get much more than a five-point lead, but I think a five-point lead sounds okay. I'll take a five-point lead. So Morgan Jones is going to start the third quarter for Louisville, and that's going to be the defensive assignment on Caitlin Clark. Hawks will have their starting five out there. Nyla Harris starts for Louisville, but really doesn't play all that much. She only played five minutes and 39 seconds against Old Miss on Friday. Louisville showing a box and one. 
Warnock on the left wing will fire a three-pointer. Rattles around and spins out. Had a good look. Robinson gets the ball from Cochran. Now back to Cochran. Feeds it left side to Jones. She tries to make a move, and she has to kick it back out to Van Liff. Out of Jones. Makes a move into the paint, and the floater is up and good. Morgan Jones with six. Didn't start the game, but started the third quarter. It has been a starter much of the year. And here's a steal by Carr all the way down the right side of the lane. Layup good. Took it away at midcourt. So Louisville starts the third quarter like they did the beginning of the game and pulls to within one. Clark gets it to Kate Martin. Free throw line extended right. Warnock, Martin, Marshall. Now back to Kate Martin, three-pointer right side, no. There's a steal by Warnock. Another possession for the Hawkeyes. Marshall for three, got it. Oh, there it is, Marshall. You and she said, finally. <laughs> we all knew what was going to happen. Everybody had faith. First points of the ball game for Gabby Marshall. Mid-range jumper right wing is no good by Jones. Rebound Clark across the timeline. Dribbles between her legs. Feeds inside. Warnock left-handed layup good. Everybody just focused on Clark so much right there. And Warnock does a good job just kind of silently going to an open spot. And McKenna's got 15. Baseline jumper Jones no good from 10. Warnock the rebound. Gets it to Clark. She pushes it into the front court. Fires a three left wing. Drilled it. <laughs> Clark's like, I'm, I'm open. I'm just going to dribble this one up here and shoot. And of course, why not? Timeout Louisville. Hawks go on an 8-0 run over the last 38 seconds after <laughs> Louisville got off to a good start 30, in the quarter. 38 seconds put up eight points. That's uh, pretty good, especially, right, because Iowa didn't need Coach Blue to take the time out that time. They figured out how to put it together and ride that wave back on their own. They know how to do this, and we know that the third quarter is a strong quarter for Iowa. That's what did the job against Colorado on Friday. Iowa outscored the Buffaloes 25 to 13. I glanced over at Coach Bluter during that Louisville run. No panic on her face. <laughs> 8.04 left to go in the third. Timeout Louisville. Iowa 56. Louisville 47. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from their field. At Opal, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at bulkmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Coco Creative Agency has launched the Inclusive Cultural Marketing Program, an initiative uplifting minority-owned businesses across Iowa. Businesses like Lola's Fine Hot Sauce, Forward Consulting, Own Your Check, and Humanize My Hoodie. For more information about Coco Creative Agency and these other great businesses, visit CocoCreates.com for more information. That's CocoCreates.com. Let's prioritize impact over transaction and uplift minority-owned businesses. Cardinals scored the first four points in the third quarter, and then Iowa went on that 8-0 run. Three out of three from the floor, including a Clark three. Just in 38 seconds, and that prompted another Louisville timeout. As the Hawks now have made 20 field goals in 36 attempts, 55.6%, 11 out of 25 from three. Monica Sonato only has two shots. She's two for two. 
they're really packing it in on her, and that's okay. I think Monica's also like, if when I'm open, if and when, yes, get it in here, but do not force it in here. We'll keep working, I'll keep fighting, and we'll get them eventually. So uh, you know that that's not her focus here. She's like, if I score, I score, but if I pull defenders away, great, that helps out too. Um, Louisville's trying out that box in one. Worked really well the first few possessions, but in the, the transition, transition game, yeah, yeah, the transition game is going to be a key for the Hawkeyes. And that's the nice thing. This is the first time they've seen a box someone. They also know, just take your time. Eventually, Clark, Clark will get open. They cannot defend her face guard that hard for a whole, ten, you know, 10 minutes. And she'll continue to move without the ball. She too. will, and they have her take the ball out. They do a lot of good things to try to just keep her interacting with the team still. So even if she does take a break away from trying to get the ball. So Louisville basketball, 8.04 left to go. Just underway, third quarter, Iowa 56, Louisville 47. Robinson pounds the dribble with the right hand. Now Cochran comes out behind the arc. Sets a screen. Gets it to Russell, who's now into the game. Robinson, floater, paint, no. Ball tapped around, finally dug up by Warnock, who uh, tries to cross the timeline and is tripped. So that'll be a foul on Louisville at the timeline. That'll go against Robinson. That's her third. Great job by Warnock securing the board. It was getting tipped around, and she just grabbed it down and started running. And now Carr will come out on Clark and face guard her. Here's Marshall for three. Left wing. Oh, Marshall. It. She's back. She's back. 58% from three the last 10 games for Gabby Marshall. 59-47. Hawks on top, Louisville. Van Lith. Floater, left wing, no. Ball loose on the floor, dug up by Clark. Tries to whip a pass down court, and it's intercepted by Russell, trying to get it to Marshall. Now, Van Lith in the corner. She'll fire a three off a hesitation move, no. Rebound taken down by Cochran, goes up strong, and is fouled by the Hawkeyes. Iowa's still on an 11-0 run. Now with their largest lead, though, with the 12 points, as Cochran goes to the free throw line. Got that into double figures. Sonato, her second foul. Olivia Cochran, the 6-3 senior, connects on the first. She has five points. Toes the line, second one, got it. Nice release. 59-49, Hawks by 10 with the basketball. We're under seven, third quarter. Martin to Warnock on the right side playing catch. Now to Marshall, hands it off to Clark. Whips it to Martin, free throw line extended left. Now Gabby Marshall fakes a three. So did Martin, but she drives baseline. Layup is up and no good. Missed it with the right hand on the left side. Nice move, just didn't get it to go. Van Lith to Robinson. Penetrates the middle. Now to Russell. She'll back off. Van Lith tried to get a pass inside. It was tipped by Marshall into the hands of Sonato, not Clark. Caitlin across the timeline. Angles right side. Carr comes out on her. Now in the corner, Warnock for three, a little bit strong, didn't hit anything, and the rebound taken down by Cochran to Louisville. Hawks by 10, Cardinals with the basketball. Russell thought about a three, now to Cochran. She steps in, elbow 15-foot jumper, no, off the left side of the rim, and a rebound attempt by Louisville. Ball goes out of bounds, but a foul is going to be called on McKenna Warnock. Just going to be Warnock's first foul. Checking in on the fouls. I like to do that on those times. Only one player on either team has three, and that's Robinson for Louisville. And she'll throw the ball in along the baseline. Hawks by 10. Look inside, and now a lob pass out to the right wing. Van Lith. Now to Cochran. High post area. Dropped it inside to Robinson. Shot is too hard off the glass, and a foul will be called underneath. It looks to be against Iowa. I guess he's just going to go be on Warnock. Yes, it is on Warnock. That's so. her second. That's two quick ones. Now Martin has two. 
And you can tell right now, Louisville is very frustrated on the offensive end. They haven't had any field goals in the last three minutes. Things are not going well, so Iowa just needs to keep disrupting. Why is she shooting? Well, we're going to say that she was in the act of shooting off the rebound. Well, she definitely wasn't shooting. That's... So Russell's first is good. She has four. Second one, a little bit strong, but Robinson grabs the offensive rebound, and she's bumped by McKenna Warnock. And that's three in maybe 10 seconds right. of action. Yeah, I think that's accurate. So Warnock will sit down with 15 points in favor of Hannah Stolke. That is not a good development for the Hawkeyes on top by nine. 5.57 left to go in the third. Louisville gets it to Russell. She drives in the paint area. Lost control of the ball. Kicks it back out to Van Lith. Van Lith at the top of the key. Now goes inside Cochran. Tries to make a move and took an extra step. Traveling is the call. Iowa basketball. Again, they still have not hit any field goals. Their offense is not functioning right now. Iowa, you just need them to go. Kind of silence them and get a shot here. Martin across the timeline, hands it to Clark. Does have a three in the quarter. Kate Martin on the right wing. Van Lith on her. Now Clark gets it to Stalky, who goes inside, and she took an extra step, too, on a pump fake. Pump fake's good. Just got to get the ball on the floor a little faster. Now both teams, a little bit of a scoring drought. And Louisville... Right. At 3:43, Iowa at 2:06. 5:20 left to go. Third quarter, Hawks by nine. Louisville with the basketball. Robinson on the right wing. Van Lift top of the key. Motors to the left side. Now Cochran turnaround jumper left wing is good. Hit that from about 15, which she's capable from that range. She's right at her season average at eight. 59-52, we're under five, third quarter. Hawks on top. Here's Clark, step back, deep three-pointer. Didn't get it to go, but fouled on the shot by, by Carr. So hopefully Clark can end that scoring drought. And she's going to shoot three, three free throws here. So possibility to give him a three-point boost. It was time for a Caitlin Clark three. It was time for a quick media timeout. Chrislyn Carr just at five foot five has mm -hmm. drawn the defensive assignment much of the third quarter against Caitlin Clark. Timeout on the court with four and 54 left to go in the third quarter. Iowa 59, Louisville 52. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. We all love a good win. Catching up with friends, saving money at the pump. Soaking up the perfect Iowa day, sitting down to a really, really good meal. These are the everyday delights that make us smile. These are the moments that connect us all as Iowans. And these are the wins that, more often than not, start with Iowa's farm families and the crop they're growing. Because when corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. Learn more about how to share your own wins at iowacorn.org backslash Iowans win. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. Hawks have outscored 
The Cardinals 11 to 9 here in the third quarter. Lead at 59 52. U.S. Cellular is on a mission to find us again by putting down our phones in the phones down for five challenge. Five days, five hours, even five minutes. Find out more at uscellular.com slash find us. Well, Jamie's we've uh, seen Louisville not shooting the ball very well. Mm -hmm. uh, not great execution at the offensive end, though Cochran did hit a nice jumper on the left wing. Just three out of ten, but three out of four from the free throw line. Buckeyes three out of six from three in the quarter, four out of eight, but have not been to the free throw line. Right. I mean, Iowa, they will now go to the free throw line. Uh, for three. For three, th three uh, attempts by Caitlin Clark on her. I mean, she shot a logo three and was fouled. It wasn't allowed any space to come down, and that is going to be a foul. Uh, but good shot by her. She's trying. She's got a good job, right? She started to figure out um, when do I need to take a little bit of control? When do I need to take some of these longer shots to try to give us those boosts? And this is something that she's been honing in on and working on this entire year. And so you just see her take her shots are not just random. She's very she's making choice decisions when she takes them. Buckeyes have eight steals in the game. Clark one assist away from a double double. Also has five rebounds, 25 points, three out of four at the line, and she is there right now. First one is up and good. Clark with 26. She had 22 at the half. Second one, also good. Kenna Warnock on the bench right now. Three fouls. Really quick. She All can three. technically play. You can play with three during the third quarter. That's kind of the rule of the game. But she got three really fast. And so they're like, no, we got to give you a break. So three out of three from the line for Clark, 62-52. Hawks back by 10. Van Liff gives it off to Robinson, left wing. Cochran comes out at the top of the key, takes a couple dribbles. Now Robinson back to clock Cochran. She fires a 16-footer. That's an air ball that goes out of bounds. Really jumpy right. on that offensive position. Well, they're... they're I gotta ask Coach Bluter this afterwards. And you're focus the next time down. It almost looks like they're doing player on three players and a zone on two. It's so a, kind of a triangle and two. But backwards. Yeah. <laughs> two the people playing zone. Yep. Yeah. Here's Kate oh, Martin. Good Martin. Three pointer from the right wing. Martin is money. Two threes for Kate Martin. 65-52. Approaching four left to go in the third. Cochran in the paint. Good job of defense for Sonato. Van Liff comes off a screen. Now Robinson in the corner. Hawkeye's really doing a good job defensively. Carr fires a long range two. Left wing, no. And a foul will be called on Iowa on the rebound as Cochran brought it in. That is going to be five on Iowa, so they will go to the free throw line on this. And there's still 353 left. Iowa got, needs to be careful of those fouls. Iowa now, right now, with their largest lead, 13-point lead, but most likely will get cut into a bit with these free throws. Well, Cochran at the line, Stalky her second foul, and the first free throw is good. Louisville, a 75% free throw shooting team. Louisville just one out of their last 10 from the floor. Second free throw good. Cochran in double figures with 10. Three quarters court pressure now by the Cardinals. Fox get it into the front court with Gabby Marshall. Dribbles it around the timeline. She's doubled, gets it to Clark. Whips a pass inside. Sonata goes up strong and couldn't finish on the right side, but will shoot two. Great job keeping. They stayed so far out right there. That's where it opened up inside. They were out very through, 10 feet outside of the three-point line, and it opened up the inside. And there's Monica Sonano, right? Limited touches Limited from Monica. Limited touches, and that, but they're doing a great job still looking for her and giving her opportunities. And swishes the first free throw. Sonano with five. Cochran picked up her second personal. Monica's second is also perfect. She had 15 and 7 boards against Colorado, 
335 left to go. Robinson tried to get it inside. Ball batted in the air by Clark. Marshall. Oh, Louisville take a timeout on that. Yeah, as Louisville was able to wrestle the ball away from Kate Martin on the floor. And they will take a timeout to save the possession. Mm -hmm. Louisville just has one timeout left. That's why that was an interesting, to me, interesting timeout to take because you still have a full quarter after this. And then how crucial those timeouts are right. down the stretch. Iowa just has two timeouts, by the way. So both teams have burned through way more timeouts than normally at this point. In business, MidAmerican Energy can help you save energy and add to your bottom line. Visit MidAmericanEnergy.com to learn more. 67-54 after the 32nd timeout. Louisville will have the basketball. Hawks on top, 67-54. Louisville will have it along the side. Lob pass to the right wing, Cochran. Now Van Lift coming off a screen for three, drills it from the right wing. Well-designed play. Van Lift with 20, her first points in the quarter. Hawks by 10 with the basketball. Here's Kate Martin to Marshall. Around to Clark, she'll fire a three. No good off the right side of the rim. Rebound taken down on the baseline by Louisville. Robinson in the front court. Now Russell wanted to go inside. Dribbled it back out. Now gives it off to Cochran. Drives to the basket from the right wing. Missed the layup. Sonano the rebound. Again, Cochran is not normally looking to score, so it's out of touch for her to drive so much. Marshall, corner three. Oh my Drilled goodness. It. Marshall misses three, makes three, right? Like, she knows she's good. We know she's good. And the 10th assist from Caitlin Clark. Here's Robinson, jumper right wing, no. Clark the rebound. Brings it across the timeline, then tried to get a bounce oh. pass ahead to Stalky, but it's kicked. Can you imagine the, the noise level that would have happened from that? Box by 13, 70 57, 224 left to go in the third. Iowa basketball at midcourt. Warnock still on the bench with three fouls, all coming within a span of about 10 seconds. Marshall in the corner from Clark, now dribbles it back out. Plenty of time on the shot clock for the Hawkeyes. Clark on the right wing, looks inside. Now Marshall, left wing, tried to get it nice. inside to Sonano, and she is held on the backside by Liz Dixon. Used the clock really well there, right? They, had set, they used a full 17 seconds and allowed for things to be created. Um, didn't then, force a three. Nope, didn't enforce a three, and you saw it open up inside by having that reversal. Martin will throw it in. Gets it to Clark, coming off a screen. Her three-pointer left wing she swishes so it. Easy. Like, she looks like she's shooting a two-foot shot when she shoots a three-pointer from there. 31 for Clark. Iowa 73. Louisville 57. We're under two third quarter. Robinson, right wing. Now gives it off to Jones. She'll shoot from 17. No. Clark the rebound. Gets it to Sonano. Now across the timeline to Gabby Marshall. Back to Clark on the left wing. Now Martin. Martin will dribble it up in between the circles. Coach Bluter will call a play with 15 to shoot. 135 left to go in the third. High post area Clark. Bounce pass to Sonano. She's doubled. And a hold will be called on Louisville underneath. Iowa with their largest lead of the game right now, 16-point lead. On a 6-0 run. And that's three on the backup center, Liz Dixon. And Monica Sonato back at the free throw line. 73-57, 130 left to go in the third. So both teams are in the bonus right now. Sonato's first, rattles around and spins out the left side. She can hit this. That's a extends it to 17 point lead. And Monica does just that. She has seven. <laughs> Kenna Warnock coming back in. Three fouls. Again, she's normally you can pay, play in the third quarter with three. And Sonata will come out. 130 left to go in quarter number three. 74 57 Iowa. Robinson. 
across the timeline. In no hurry. Van Lift. Yep. Makes a move. Paint runner left hand no. And the rebound down to Clark. Clark across the timeline. On the right wing. Floater a little bit strong off the window. Stalky rebound. Put Stalking. back good. They didn't have to, she's just over there. She was ready for the weak side, and I love Clark's attempt to go after it and the confidence to have someone board for her. Under a minute, third quarter, 76-57 Iowa. Van Lith has it oh. taken away by Marshall. Ahead to Clark, wide open shot, got it! Wow! 21-point lead for the Hawkeyes. Oh, the cameraman got taken down. He's okay. <laughs> yep, they help him up. <laughs> Everyone helps him up. He's all right. Clark with 33. 11 in the quarter. Molly Davis will come in to give Caitlin a break with just 38.7 left to go what in the happened, third. What just my friends? 11-0 run for the Hawkeyes over the last two minutes. 13-3 run if you look three minutes back. I... Iowa's defense is really what it is. That's what's extending this. That's what's pushing it. Van Lith is frustrated. Marshall and Martin, I mean, they are doing amazing. Denying her for the most part. And then when she gets it, she's just trying to create and force things so much. Sydney Falter comes into the game. We get Warnock out of there for the final 38-7 of quarter number three. Louisville basketball. Van Lith with only a three-pointer in the quarter. Louisville works the ball around the arc. Now Jones down the right side of the lane and gets one to go off the window. She has eight. Davis in no hurry across the timeline. As Kono comes out on her, nine seconds. Molly now into the corner. Here's Marshall, steps in, shot from 17, bouncing no. And the rebound taken down by Cochran of Louisville to end the well, third that's quarter. That's a, a great, that's a good shot. They used the full clock, didn't allow for another opportunity for Louisville. And Iowa, we talked about Iowa having a good third quarter. How about a 30-point quarter and just 16 for the Cardinals? 30 points. And that's after Louisville <laughs> scored the first four points oh. of quarter number three. 30 points, Rob. They had a 30-point quarter, a 30 to 16 quarter for the Hawkeyes. Well, you know what's at stake. <laughs> Iowa is 10 minutes away from the final four. Iowa 78, Louisville 59. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. At MidAmerican Energy, we want to help keep you safe around power lines and electrical equipment. Always assume a power line is energized, even if it's on the ground. To avoid the risk of an accidental shock or electrocution, avoid touching a power line with anything. And when you see high voltage warnings on transformers and substations, stay away. We care about you and your safety. Get more tips at midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Turn it up. It's time to go next generation with Extreme, powered by Mediacom. Get your gig on in every room, place, and space with Wi-Fi 360 Pro. And go full-on digital home with smart internet tech that lets you control and automate your home, lights, locks, cameras, and more from virtually anywhere. It's time to turn it up to the extreme. Call 844-4FASTER today to learn more about Extreme Smart Internet Packages. When corn grows fuel, Iowans win. Ethanol is a renewable fuel that's better for our environment, our health, and our wallets. Share your winning moments using hashtag Iowans win. 
Plus, you'll be eligible for some fun corny giveaways. 78-59, Hawkeyes on top after an explosive third quarter again, just like Friday night. I mean, at this time, they just took it to another level of explosion. Uh, came into the second half with a five-point lead. Uh, Louisville came out and scored a couple of points quickly, and Iowa just decided to turn it on. And looking at these third-quarter stats just <laughs> are just insane. Uh, Keelan Clark, 11 points. She was 2 of 3 from the three-point line. Perfect 3 of 3 from the free-throw line. Has five rebounds and two assists. Like, uh, that's just one quarter for her. Gabby Marshall, hot from the three. She has nine points. Three points coming from Sonano, Martin, two from Warnock, two from Stolke off the bench. Iowa, their third quarter is something that, you know, is, sounds made up almost. So Louisville basketball. Cardinals five out of 18 in the third. A 19 point lead right now, Rob. I was gonna be fine with a five point lead, I said. Do you remember saying like, maybe we just keep a five point and that's fine. Uh, we'll just keep cow. that defensive pressure right, up. It is, it's, it's the pressure that's controlling it. Really been disruptive. Kono doesn't play a whole lot into the game for Louisville. Cochran, top of the key, drives in on Clark, and her layup is good. She has 12, 78-61. Stalky still in there for Sonato. Here's Clark, deep three straight away. Oh what? Wow. <laughs> Sized her up. Why not? And only player in America who's going to be able to do a why not three like that. Yeah, soon to be the national player of the year. Has to be. Van Liff. She's doubled. Has to get it back out to Kono. Louisville just really struggling offensively as now Russell falls wow. down. Hawks dig it up. Down court pass. Two for Gabby Marshall. They're trying to put the nails in the coffin. Gabby Marshall playing defense in the full court, trying to come up with some more steals. They're not stopping. I was all in. 83-61, Louisville basketball in the backcourt. Their intensity right now on defense. Well, you can it's, feel it. You can feel it. They are spurring them. You have Louisville on their heels, and they're like, we will not stop. We are going to push you. Robinson. Martin. And now Clark throws it. Uh, Clark did a job defensively against Carr. She threw it away. Hawkeyes tapped it. Then Robinson brings it back in the front court. Hands it off to Russell for three right wing. No. Cochran gets the rebound, then falls down, and she's tied up by Monica Sonano along the baseline. Iowa basketball with the possession arrow. Iowa now with a 22 point lead, 8 30. Warnock will throw it in against full court pressure. Gets it to Marshall. Reverse the ball to Martin. She'll bring it across the timeline against Robinson. Now McKenna Warnock, free throw line extended left. Holds the ball on the right side. Now back to Clark, 35 feet from the hoop against Carr. Takes one dribble. She'll fire a three left wing. Was on line just a little bit strong off the right side. And lift the rebound. Brings it into the front court for Louisville. She'll fire a three left at the top of the key. Rattles around no. And a foul will be called underneath on the rebound. Let's see if this is against Warnock again. Yep. That's the way it's going to go. So four for Warnock. Stolke back in. Stolke's been having good minutes, and she's having, you know, a lot of talk was, ha was had about her previous game and not having as many minutes. You do what you got to do at your this point of the season. Coming in today, having good minutes. Carr gets it into Cochran, tries to make a move on the baseline from the right wing, and a push will be called on Monica Sedano. 
Well, you certainly don't want to commit these fouls no. and have the clock stop and put Louisville at the free throw line with an 83-61 lead. Keep the defense lead. going. Be aggressive. Cochran gets it at the elbow. Off the inbounds. Not a car. Now to Cochran. She'll fire a three-pointer off the front of the iron. No good. And the rebound down to Martin, who quickly gets it to Clark, who gets it to Marshall for three. In and out from the right wing, but then... Martin got it. Kate Martin with the offensive rebound. Shot clock will reset to 20. Now at 13. 7.28 left to go. Here's Clark. Gets into the paint. 15-foot jumper. Short. Rebound Cochran. 83-61. Iowa on top. Louisville with the basketball. If you're Louisville, you're looking for one big run here in the next three minutes. Russell on the right side. Now drops it inside. Robinson goes to work in the paint. No good, but gets her own rebound. Kicks it back out to Carr for three left wing. No. Robinson gets the offensive rebound and lays it up and in off the window. Good. Louisville's getting warned warn for a delay of game for throwing the ball out. You can't tap the ball, so what happens? You, they can't do that because that gives them time to set up on their defense. And, and Clark <laughs> in the backcourt fell down and whipped a pass into the front court. tried to find Monica Sonano. And it goes way over her head and out of bounds, Louisville basketball. And this is where you saw Kate Martin just come over and talk to Caitlin like, hey, they're just trying to get in your head. Don't let them get in your head. Not with a 20-point lead, no. especially. Robinson at the top of the key. Makes a move down the left side of the lane. Layup, no. Ball tapped around. Sonano digs it up. And now the Hawkeyes will have it with Clark in the backcourt. Carr on her. Brings it across the timeline. Still a little bit of contact. And then finally, a foul is going to be called on Carr. I thought Clark might get one because she was initiating some of that, too. You never know which way they're going to go. Yeah. So Iowa will have the ball along the sideline on top by 20. Clark gets it from Martin. It's a Sonano screen. Free throw line extended right. Now in the corner to Stalky. Now back to Kate Martin. Marshall left wing. Looks inside to Sonano, and she's doubled by Russell, and that's going to be a reach on Russell. Hawkeye basketball. That'd be great if Iowa could shoot free throws down the stretch with 6-11 left to go in the fourth. On top by 20 with the basketball. Martin looks inside, feeds Clark on the left wing. Has it poked away by Russell. As we approach six left to go in the ball game. Here's Clark, top of the key, bounce pass inside. Sonato goes to work with the left Great hand. Patience. And a bump will be called inside on Cochran. And Clark just being patient, being patient, waiting for it, waiting for it, and a fabulous job posting up by Sonato. So Monica comes to the free throw line. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye Women's Basketball. Sonano perfect on the first, second one in the air, got it. Well, Monica's worked hard for 10 points. <laughs> she sure has. And, er, I mean, really, she's earned every single one of them, and she's just doing a great job taking her time. Carr, bounce pass to Robinson. Inside Cochran, spins, paint, jumper, good. She has 14. She has 10 since halftime. Iowa maintaining this 20-point lead. 85-65. 5.36 left to go in the ballgame. Clark, now Robinson on her on the right wing. Tries to drive baseline, and a bump will be called as Clark kept that dribble going. A lot of people out in the world who maybe don't watch sports all the time, especially tight games like this, where it, it's a 20-point lead, and people are like, well, why don't you take the starters out? Don't take the starters out. This is a, good, this is a great team you're going up against. 20-point lead feels like a lot, but it's not. And an offensive foul is going to be called before the ball even got inbounded. 
So Louisville with four fouls, Iowa now with three fouls, 5.30 to go in the fourth quarter. And Sonano picks up her fourth. So now both Warnock and Monica with four fouls, and Addie O'Grady will come in. O'Grady has that great height. I think it'll actually work quite effective against Cochran. And Addie did a good job against Colorado. Mm -hmm. Played 10 minutes and 55 Sox, like, just seconds. Just come over and talk to her and say, hey, just go straight up when they drive in. That's all you need to do. She had four points. Van Liff, a long two from the right wing. She banked in. She has 22, 85, 67. Hawks get it across the timeline. Clark finds Warnock. Now McKenna gets it back to Caitlin Clark. Out near the timeline. Now deep in the left corner, Gabby Marshall. Dribbles it out on the wing, hands to Clark. Thought about a really deep three-pointer. Five to shoot, and tried to get it inside to O'Grady. It's picked off by Carr. Racing all the way to the rim, hands it off to Cochran. Nice catch, layup good. 85-69. Under five. Hawks haven't made a field goal in over four minutes. Warnock, top of the key. Just dribbling it around. There's no reason to be in a hurry. Now O'Grady, high post area. Gabby Marshall in between the circles. Now Clark on the right wing, eight to shoot. O'Grady comes out to set a screen. Clark whips a pass inside, and it's knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Louisville with 1.6 left to go on the shot clock. He's going to look for just an inbounds pass and a shot. This immediate timeout. With 4.13 left to go in the third. Hawks will talk about it with an 85 to 69 lead. Four minutes and 13 seconds away from Dallas. This is Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Time to redo this basement? Yeah. A home gym, movie theater, model train utopia. Or yoga studio? I'm flexible ish. Great. I'll just use the U.S. Bank mobile app so we can plan it out. Which way are you leaning? Setting a savings goal or applying for a home improvement loan? I say we look at both options right here in the app. Budget for a really good home, Jim. We deserve it. <laughs> Noted. Help for today, planning for tomorrow. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. At Oak Mall, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at oakmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! Hawks with an 85-69 advantage. Louisville has outscored Iowa here in the fourth, 10-7. So the question is now, Hawks slowing the tempo, which right. is the right thing to do. Yep. Does Louisville have one more run in them? Have uh, really had a tough time scoring, Jamie, in uh, the second half. 16 points in the third, 10 here in the fourth. Yeah. I think Van Lith is who they're going to be trying to go to. And I think Iowa just needs to, again, refocus in on Van Lith. Stop her. The whole team struggles when she stops. So that just needs to be the refocus. Their triangle tour, or whatever thing they've created, is working really well. Uh, so continuing with that. Now, Iowa on the offensive end, we have 1.6 seconds to get a shot up. So that's what their number one focus. Get a shot up and then board it and see if you can get a second chance opportunity here. Well, we need something good to happen in right. Seattle. I go back to 1987 at the Kingdom. Iowa men had an 18-point lead against UNLV. UNLV raced back and uh, denied the Hawks a trip to New Orleans in the Final Four. And now uh, the Iowa women trying to make it happen here in Seattle. I remember that when I was four years old. <laughs> That's where you got a good memory then. 4.13 left to go. Hawks on top, 85-69. Well, 
Don't forget, Hawk fans, to experience your home away from home at Coralville's finest all-suite hotels, the Homewood Suites and the Home Two Suites by Hilton. Each offer guests spacious suites, complimentary breakfast, 24-hour fitness center, pool, hot tub, guest laundry, and convenient locations. Let their warm and friendly staff take care of you and your family when you visit Hawkeye Country. So Iowa basketball with 1.6 on the shot clock, 4.13 on the game clock. Look inside and get it inside. Got a shot up and, and a, a foul. whistle underneath. I'm gonna call a foul on Cochran, I think. They're gonna double check that she got the shot up in time and the whistle went off. I think it did though. Cause you heard the whistle then the eh, right? Am I right? Is that the right noises? That's the way I heard it. <laughs> I don't know. You, make, you make a lot of noises. I know there's a lot happening over here, but I think that was the, the order of the noises, and that's what I'm going off of. So the officials are over at the scorer's table. That'd be a huge break for the Hawkeyes it would. if that's the case. Did a good job to get the ball in on the baseline. Stolke. In position to do something. Sulky took your time, pivoted around, put it up. I heard the whistle before the end. Molly's Cupcakes proudly serving their cookies and treats inside Kinnick Stadium and Carver Hawkeye Arena for a taste of unique flavors you'll love. Stop by their downtown Iowa City location for homemade cupcakes, cookies, bars, cakes, and coffee drinks. Molly's Cupcakes, also a proud supporter of the Hawkeyes. Caitlin Clark with 36, 11 assists, and 8 rebounds. <laughs> Got a shot. And an elite eight game, right? Yeah. That's that's Just the like additional the Big Ten part, right? Championship game. Yeah, she she shows up to play. And Hannah Stolke's going to go to the line. Four two. Man, if she could just hit these to try to end that six and zero run that Louisville had. Stolke's free throw, good. Three bounces on the rim, but dropped right through. She kept the wrist up there. She had it. She had it up. Carr now has four fouls. Second one a little bit yeah, strong. I'll so one, one out of two. I'll take one out of two. <laughs> they can't have said, oh, I got one. That Marshall's doing full court face guarding on Van Lith. Get the ball in to Cochran. Turn around. Jumper on the left block is good. Cochran with 18, that's 10 above her average. Stolke has the ball in the backcourt, gives it to McKenna Warnock, dribbles it across the timeline, 86-71 Iowa. And a foul will be called on Louisville's Russell. McKenna Warnock taking on the that guard duty right now, which she can, she, fly, she is a guard, but doesn't do a lot of the dribbling, but does it like a pro when she needs to. And McKenna at the free throw line, had a great first two quarters. A little bit strong on the free throw. At 13 at the half. If she hits this, it's a 16 point lead for the Hawkeyes. Second one, no good. A little bit strong. Rebound down to Russell, 86 71. Four, 345 left to go. And Russell will fire a three pointer left wing. No, Marshall the rebound. And the Hawks now will slow the pace. As Clark gets it across the timeline. Now Marshall will dribble out. Gets the double team. And then Martin tries to get a pass inside to Warnock. And it's intercepted by Cochran. Hands it off to Van Liff. Step back three. Right wing. Scraped off the front of the iron. Clark gets the rebound. <laughs> and then took it away from two players. Ball. And is actually going to be called for traveling. Should be a good jump ball. Two people were holding it. Ruff says no, I say jump ball. But they're calling a, a travel on Clark. Good yeah. hustle. Louisville will have it along the sideline, right in front of their bench, 86-71. Cross-court pass to Cochran. Hands it off to Van Lith. She goes up in the paint and is fouled by Monica Sedano, I believe. And that would be her fifth if that's the case. Sonata went, I mean, she went as straight up as she could, but. Well, that's five fouls. And Stolke comes back in. And Stolke. Iowa 
15 point lead. They have, they have the control of the game. Free throw no good by Haley Van Liff. Sonato finishes with 10 points. He good box outs. 308 left to go. 86-71. Second one good. Harris comes back in for Louisville. Full court pressure for the Cardinals. Martin gets it back to Clark on the out-of-bounds play. Clark dribbles it easily into the front court. Now we'll circle back out. Harris on her. We're under three. 86-72 Iowa. Clark just dribbling out near the timeline. And now tries to go by Harris. Reverses her dribble. And now it's taken away on the backside by Robinson. She drives in. Layup off the window. Good. Clark gets it in, gives it right back to Warnock. Warnock in the backcourt still. Now hands it off to Clark, who calmly brings it across the timeline, 86-74. Iowa still with a 12-point lead, 12-point lead. With 2.20 left to go. In the corner, three-pointer, no good Marshall. Weak side rebound, Carr. Gets it off to Van Liff. And then Marshall... Will commit the foul in the backcourt. Didn't need that if you're Iowa. That stops the clock. Mm -hmm. And it gets them to that po score points quicker. Louisville in the middle of an 11-1 run. So Van Liff will come to the free throw line. 86-74. Free throw good. Russell waiting to get back in the game. Second free throw, perfect. 25 for Haley Van Lith. And it's a 10-point game with 2.12 left to go. Louisville with the momentum. Hawks face full court pressure. Get it into Clark, and she is held in the backcourt by Harris. Close liner. Clark gets up and will have some time to walk to the free throw line. And that's what you're going to expect right now is right. probably Louisville to foul right away. Try to extend the game with 2.10 left to go. Iowa by 10. So Clark at the line, 2.10. She hits both of these, that bumps it up to 12 point lead. Six out of seven from the free throw line. First one, rolled it in. 37 for Clark. Continue to face guard Van Lith. You want to just not allow three-pointers, right? Second one, no good. Came off the front of the rim. Cochran with the rebound. Van Lith will be in a hurry. She's at the top of the key. Angles right side. Fires a three-pointer short. Battle for the rebound underneath. Knocked out of bounds. Touch last by Louisville. With exactly two minutes left to go, 87-76. Hawks on top of the basketball. And Iowa looking to inbound again. Monica Sonano fouled out on the bench. Warnock hit it into Clark. Tracks the double team. Now whips it to Warnock. Left side Martin, cross court to Clark. Now to Warnock across the timeline, drives into the paint, drops it off for Stokey, and she is fouled. Fouled hard, hard foul. You heard the crowd. Hard foul by Louisville. That'll be four on Russell. And Hannah Stokey will be at the free throw line. 87, 76, 148 left to go. Iowa, 11 point lead. Stalky will get two. She made one out of two her last trip. First one, short. 148 in the game, Iowa, 11 point lead. 
And the second is good. Got there the roll. 88-76. Van Lith across the timeline for Louisville. You know Van Lith just wants to pop it. Gives it up. Now goes inside to Cochran. Turnaround jumper is good in the paint. 20 for Cochran. Full court pressure, Louisville. Martin gets it to Clark. Great job. To Marshall. Into the front court. Warnock holds. She's doubled, and a foul will be called on Russell. Warnock so tough right there, though, because that was close to being a jump ball, and she did a good job ripping the ball away and, draw and creating the contact. I mean, that could have easily been turned into a jump ball. So tough, smart move by Warnock. And Russell will foul out with four points. So Warnock will be at the free throw line. Mm -hmm. 0 for 2. Eighty-eight, seventy-eight. 122 to left to go in the ball game. Hawks with the lead, and Warnock adds to it. In the air, got it. 17 for Warnock. 90-78. Van Liff gets into the paint. Scoop shot is up and no good. Little double clutch, but a foul called on Iowa. Stolke, her third. Other foul. Uh, Warnock has four for Iowa. Stolke with three other one else is below that. So Van Liff gets the first one to drop. There's 26. Had 21 against Ole Miss on Friday. Second one, good. Well, Grady comes in for Stalky. 90-80. Hawks by 10 with 116 left to go. Harris back in for the Cardinals. Warnock will throw it in against pressure. Gets it to O'Grady. Down court pass to Clark. Into the front court to Marshall. She's got a wide open layup. Got it to go. And a foul. And she is pushed. Jeez. Finished the layup. Got pushed into right where that uh, cameraman got taken out before. Is that a tough Poor night. cameraman. Gabby Marshall. Had a check on him, but finished. Finished it. That's 13 for Marshall. Caitlin Clark says, I want to hear you. Gabby Marshall, going to the line, going for the three-point play. Bumped her knee, I think. Just, just a bruise, probably. So Gabby will get one at the line. And now Louisville going to get some seniors into the game. Josie Williams at 6'5". So Kono, a senior, will come back as Iowa leads by 12 with 109 left to go. Marshall will get one free throw. Trying to complete the three-point play. Perfect. That was a hard layup to actually finish. She had two players darting at her, and she did a good job concentrating on it. Van Lift down the left side of the lane. Goes up. Bank shot no good, too strong. Ball run down by McKenna Warnock. Gets it ahead in the front court to Gabby Marshall. Now to Clark. We're under a minute. 93-80. Oh, my goodness. And you can hear the Iowa crowd. Clark at the timeline in no hurry. And a foul will be called on Carr. And the Davenport, Iowa native will foul out. Clark will go to the free throw line. Or actually, no, that'll only be four on her, so she's good. Clark at the free throw line. Makes the first. That's 38 for Caitlin. <laughs> who does have that triple-double. She has a triple-double. <laughs> with 12 assists and 10 rebounds. Wow. Second one, good. Almost 40 points, 10 rebounds, 12 assists. Van Liff, Iowa by 15. 
Kono for three right wing. Ball goes over the top of the glass and out of bounds. Iowa basketball with 35.2 left to go. 15 point lead, Rob. Oh. Mobley comes in. Oh. And here's an interception by Williams. Gets it to Carr for three, no. Offensive rebound to Louisville in the corner. Kono for three, got that one. And Louisville takes a timeout. 95-83, Iowa with 25.1 left to go. Louisville has no more timeouts. I want to thank United Healthcare for teaming up with the Hawkeyes to support and celebrate small businesses in the state of Iowa. United Healthcare, proud sponsor of the Hawkeyes, who are 25 seconds away from the Final Four in Dallas, Texas. Oh, there's not a lot to say right now other than. You just need to get past these next 25 seconds. Louisville has outscored the Hawkeyes in the quarter 24 to 17. But I Iowa really slowed it down to draw the clock out, and Louisville has capitalized on it. But Iowa had a 20-point lead. I think they played it well. And have been to the free throw line 28 times now after not going I know. much at all in the first two quarters. Yeah, have here made the, 21. In the fourth quarter so far, they have went 15 times. They've had 15 free throws. And now Iowa will take a 30-second timeout. To advance the ball. And they'll do that right in front of us here at midcourt. Well, you got to think if Iowa, well, they're probably going to get fouled. But if they can hit those two, that's a 14-point game right there. Louisville has no timeouts left. They cannot take any more timeouts. The girls are starting to smile a little bit on the court. Yeah, there have been some smiles all yep, night. Yep, there have been some smiles. So Martin will throw it in. Hawkeyes stack at the top of the key. Get it into Clark. She wheels away from the double team and then is fouled. And it will go against Carr. And Caitlin will be at the free throw line with 22-7. Left to go, 95-83, Iowa. This would be the eighth victory in a row. First free throw good, there's 40. <laughs> 40 points, 11 of 19 from the field today, 8 of 14 from the three-point line. She was better than 50% from the three-point line. And Coach Bluter clapping. Getting Clark off the court to give her, let her get that round of applause. And Caitlin and <laughs> Coach Bluter embrace Van Liff into the front court. Under 20 seconds left to go. Here's Carr. Three pointer. Top of the key. That's an air ball goes out of bounds. Louisville will back this up, and the Hawkeyes are 10 seconds away from the final four. And Lisa Bluter. Is actually going to call timeout and advance the basketball. And I have a feeling she's going to say, look around. Take the time. Because they did go to a full timeout. Yep. She's going to give them a chance to accept, embrace it. Been since 1993. Really, this is the, the type of timeout you don't need to say anything. I know. Abby's talking to him, I think, just saying how to inbound it. She was showing him the inbounds pass, Abby Emmer, or Abby Stamp. And, and of course, uh, it got to be very emotional for Jan Jensen as well, the passing of her father earlier today. Kate Martin going to inbound it. No timeouts for the Hawkeyes, so Kate just has to get it in bounds. Yeah. 
Gets it into Molly Davis, who will just hold it. Oh, my gosh. Well, Jamie, there's oh going to be a, a lot of sleepless <laughs> in Seattle tonight. Oh, I won't be sleeping. The Hawks head to Dallas for the final four for the first time since 1993. Lisa Bluter's first trip to the final four, 97-83. The Hawks over the Cardinals. Holy cow. going on. <laughs> Jeff Waltz and Lisa Bluter having a conversation, a pleasant conversation. I think there's a lot of respect there between those two. And Coach Bluter had great things to say about Coach Walls this week. Oh, man. This is just... They get a cut on the net here. Uh, I am going to go uh, hop on no, this. Nobody in a hurry to leave today. So, <laughs> they get to cut it down for the final four, and you can bet it. Uh, they're ready to go up there and, and get their piece of this net. This is something, you though, that they wanted last year. It got taken away in a bad way, and they've been fighting ever since to get back here. And, and here they are. I'm going to go out there and get this. Uh, you you get all the fun interviews, oh, right? Yeah, I do today. 97 83. The Hawkeyes over Louisville in the Elite Eight. And tomorrow morning, we'll be on a flight to Dallas for the Final Four. We'll stick around. I know it's late. And celebrate with us. As certainly the Hawkeyes will celebrate here in Seattle. Iowa 97, Louisville 83, a triple double from Caitlin Clark, who played 39 minutes, had 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. We'll be back with the postgame show after the break from Seattle. The Hawks head to the Final Four, 97-83. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I think you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point of sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. You probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs. But what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hey everyone, I'm Mark Wahlberg and I have some exciting news to share. At Wahlburgers, we are all about bringing the family together to enjoy a great meal and have a great time. That's why right now, for a limited time, kids eat free every day at all Hy-Vee Wahlburger locations. Kids 12 and under can enjoy one free kid's meal with any purchase of an adult burger, sandwich, or entree salad. Bring the family to Wahlburgers and the Wahlburgers and Hy-Vee stores where right now kids can eat free. After I drop the kids off, I have to run across town for a meeting, hit the gym during lunch, Jake has soccer tonight, and Emily has gymnastics? Oh, did I turn on the crock pot this morning? <laughs> With a never-ending to-do list, it's easy to forget something important, like setting up a life insurance plan with Shelter Insurance. Your local shelter agent can show you how to create a safety net for your family. Don't let life get in the way of what's most important. Visit shelterinsurance.com to learn more. Shelter Life Insurance Company, Columbia, Missouri. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline, they all have one thing in common. 
they never back off from a challenge. Available with all-wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. Historic night here in Seattle as the Iowa Hawkeyes women's basketball team for the second time and not since 1993 head to the Final Four in Dallas, Texas. 97-83 over Louisville. Hawks now have won eight in a row and have won 30 games for the first time in school history. And Lisa Bluter and her illustrious career will take this team to the Final Four next weekend. And this is Coach Bluter's 850th victory in her career. Buckeyes led for 32 minutes and 16 seconds. Louisville for 7.28. Louisville had a big lead of eight right out of the gate tonight at the 7.48 mark. And then um, Iowa called a timeout and went on a 7-0 run and uh, really settled in after that and started to knock down some three-pointers, which was going to be very important tonight because Louisville defensively really packing the paint and not allowing uh, the ball to get inside to Monica Sinano hardly at all. Now, Monica only shot twice. It was two out of two and five out of six from the free throw line. The Hawkeye players and coaches out still at midcourt. And we'll get the opportunity to cut down the nets here in Seattle at the Climate Pledge Arena. It's the first time that Iowa's defeated Louisville. It's only the third time the two teams have ever played. Louisville won the first two. I'll take a look at the individual numbers. Of course, just a, a sensational performance by Caitlin Clark with 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. Didn't turn the ball over nine times. But a few of those were certainly those uh, outstanding passes that she <laughs> tries to thread the needle on. And a few uh, got away but still a triple-double in the Elite Eight. Outstanding performance, and I'm sure she'll be the most outstanding player in the Seattle Region 4. And as soon as we get that team, we'll uh, bring it to you. Hawkeyes also got 17 out of McKenna Warnock. Six out of 10 from the floor. Three of seven from three. And McKenna was very instrumental, especially in the first two quarters, from deep as she had 13 points at the half and ended with 17. Monica Sinano had nine points and five rebounds. Gabby Marshall really got going in that third quarter, was scoreless in the first two quarters, and then ended up with 14 overall, three out of nine from three, had a marvelous traditional three-point play. And she ended up 5 out of 12 from the floor, 3 of 9 from three-point range. As Caitlin Clark will put the Hawkeyes, the Hawkeye logo, on to the final four. As you always see those boards in the locker rooms, this time out on the floor. Hawks will play the winner of uh, South Carolina and Maryland in the semifinal round. Continue with the individual numbers here. Told you Sonano nine and five boards. Kate Martin hit a couple of three-pointers, had six points and three rebounds, also five assists, and only one turnover. Anna Stalke played over 19 minutes tonight, had six points on two of three, from the floor and uh, her minutes were very important because 
of the foul trouble. Monica Sonano, Molly Davis played 244 and did not score. Sydney Fulter played three minutes and 18 seconds, had four points. And Andy O'Grady played 232 and did not score. Leading the way for Louisville had three players in double figures as Haley Van Liff played all 40 minutes. Their leading score, all conference performer, had 27 points on 8 of 19 from the floor and really got hot early on. Also was uh, 8 out of 10 from the free throw line, 27 points. 20 from Olivia Cochran. Post player for Louisville had 20 and 14 rebounds, so a double-double for her. Chrislyn Carr, Davenport, Iowa native, had 11 points, did knock down three three-pointers early, and uh, the Hawkeyes did a great job on her defensively. And Robinson had uh, 10 points and six rebounds for Louisville as well. Russell came in off the bench with four. Morgan Jones with eight. As Norika Kono hit a three-pointer late in the game. And Williams and Mobley played for Louisville but did not score. Coach Bluter presented the trophy. And now we'll take a team photo with the Final Four Seattle Region 4 Championship t-shirts and hats as the Region 4 All-Tournament team being announced. And of course, the most outstanding player, Caitlin Clark. And she is joined on that team by Monica Sinano. McKenna Warnock, Haley Van Liff of Louisville, and Frida Foreman of Colorado. As Foreman played outstanding for the Buffaloes on Friday, ended up with 21 points against Iowa on four of nine from three-point range. So Clark, the outstanding player, Sonato Warnock, Van Liff, and Foreman round out the Seattle Region 4 all-tournament team. Hawkeyes uh, continue outstanding shooting in the NCAA tournament. Uh, that's not an easy thing to do. You go back to the Colorado game, shot 53.7 percent and 53 point or make that uh, 54, 54.5 percent on Friday against Colorado. 53.7 percent, 29 of 54 today against Louisville. 16 out of 35 from three. 45.7 percent. Hawks shot 35 three-pointers. Iowa from the free throw line, 23 of 30. 76.7 percent. For Louisville, shot very well in the first two quarters, 50 percent and 57 percent. And uh, did not have a good third quarter. Five out of 18, 27.8%. Nine of 22 in the fourth, 40.9%. Game totals for the Cardinals, 30 of 70, 42.9%. Eight of 22 from three, and 15 of 18 from the free throw line. Buckeyes big lead was in the fourth quarter early on 22 point advantage with 857 left to go in the fourth quarter had an 11 0 run in the third quarter at the 737 mark only the lead was changed one time and the game was never tied Iowa led for 32 16 Louisville for 7 29. Points in the paint, Iowa at 26, Louisville 28. Second chance points, Louisville 12, Iowa 9. Iowa had 18 fast break points, and Louisville had 9, 15 points off the bench for the Cardinals, 10 for the Hawkeyes. Score after one, Iowa led it by four. 
25 to 21. Hawks outscored Louisville 23 22 in the second, led 48 43 at the half. And then the big third quarter, Iowa outpaced Louisville 30 to 16, led at 78 59 heading into the fourth, and cruised to victory 97 to 83. Celebration on court continues as Iowa defeats Louisville to head to the final four, 97-83. We'll be back with more on the postgame show after the break. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline, they all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all-wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit KBB.com for more information. When you set up a savings goal with U.S. Bank, it grows with you. There's no limit to what you can crochet. I, I mean, can do. Doesn't have to be crocheting, but it totally could be. Like the headphones you're listening to this ad with, you could totally crochet those. There's no telling where your savings goal will take you. Maybe you'll save enough for yarn to crochet your house or the whole town. Oh, right. Doesn't have to be crochet related. Set up savings goals on the U.S. Bank mobile app, even for the wildest of dreams. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. At MidAmerican Energy, we want to help keep you safe around power lines and electrical equipment. Always assume a power line is energized, even if it's on the ground. To avoid the risk of an accidental shock or electrocution, avoid touching a power line with anything. And when you see high voltage warnings on transformers and substations, stay away. We care about you and your safety. Get more tips at midamericanenergy.com. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. Hey, burger lovers. This is Jill from the Burger Shed. Have you tried one of our signature handcrafted burgers? you got to try a fan favorite, the Shed Burger. It comes with in-house smoked brisket, pepper jack cheese, and the Shed's barbecue sauce. For all of our pork lovers out there, you got to get your hands on the Apocalypse Now Burger, which comes with a pork patty topped with hand-pulled smoked pork, pepper jack cheese, and bacon jam. Burger Shed. Burgers, beers, and a bunch of BS. Fast Pro Drive and Altoona. Hawks on to the final four, 97-83. As they cut down the nets, associate head coach Jan Jensen on the postgame show. And Jan, how does that sound, huh? Oh, on to the final I'm, four, huh? I'm almost in shock. <laughs> I mean, it's been a, a lifetime. I dreamed of it as a player. I'm working our whole careers, and to do it, for Lisa Bluter, I don't think there's a better head coach in the business, her integrity, what she's done year after year. A lot of times when we have any, we don't have the Caitlins, but her knowledge base, we get a Caitlin, we get a Monica, we get the pieces, and it could not happen to a better head coach. I am beyond grateful and so, so proud. What is it with these third quarters on Friday I and like today? It. Outstanding. What, we love it. We are love those third quarters. So thankful. And how important to, to knock down those three pointers uh, uh, defensively really yep. made it tough to we're, get inside. The, we were yes, they were doing a great job taking away Monica. We were hitting from the outside and we finally we started out so shaky, but we were never wrestled in that in that huddle. It was just a calm, cool, collected and we knew we were going to get it done. You could sense it. So just beyond thankful. I thought Caitlin Clark showed why she is one of the very best. And how about that kid? She had the audacity to tell people when she committed, she wanted to go to a program and take him to the final four and look at what she has done. I don't, I don't want any, Triple anybody double. Unbelievable. Me and getting on me ever about her. That kid loves it. She rises, she rises. She's under a microscope, and she is amazing. I'm so grateful, so grateful right now. What a performance, too, Jan, and you think about, um, you know, guys didn't shy away from the goals no, and say, hey, didn't. we need to no, get there. We're just, I'm just so proud of every one of them. The kids that did not get in, every day they battle. Kids here, they don't get reps because we don't have enough time. They can feel less than, but they never drop their heads. I mean, this is a total team effort, and I, I'm so happy for all of them, and I'm, I'm just so, so thankful. How about Carver West, this fan base? Unbelievable. Everybody back home, we love you. You helped us get here, and we're just 
I'm just, my heart's so full. I'm so thankful. Well, Jan, obviously we're thinking of you yeah. extra special yeah, today. I appreciate what. you coming over. I said over. hello to my friends and yes, family you have. in Southwest Iowa. I've always said hi to my dad. And you know what? He had the best seat in the yep. house. And I think he had a little bit of something to do with that, along with my mom and my brother. So personally, I'm so thankful. Yep, we're thankful for you. Thank you. Thanks to everybody. I'm going to go down and cut down. Yes, there. you get up there. Thank you so much. <laughs> Associate head coach Jan Jensen. Appreciate uh, her coming over on the post game show. Of course, um, her father uh, passed away early this morning. And uh, as uh, Jan said, always says hello to all of her family and friends back home. And uh, I know they're with her tonight. 97 83, Iowa over Louisville as the Hawks continue to cut down. The Nets here in Seattle on to Dallas and the Final Four. We'll be back with more postgame after the break. The Hawks do it. Head to Dallas. 97-83. This is Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball from Learfield. At Opal, our mission is to provide exceptional retirement living and health services through life care. I'm Steve Rowe, Executive Director. We are a not-for-profit life plan community and have served Iowa City for more than 55 years. Our team helps residents create home by living our values of caring, respect, enthusiasm, awareness, teamwork, and encouragement. If you're looking at retirement options, visit our website at bulkmall.com. We want you to lead life your way. Go Hawks! When you buy your own health insurance, you deserve a doctor who's your biggest champion and coverage you can be confident in. And with new Wellmark Health Insurance plans featuring Unity Point Health, that's what you can expect. These plans help you build a relationship with your Unity Point Health primary care providers and network partners, starting with free preventive and virtual care, plus low copays for primary care with a doctor who always has your back. Connect with an agent to help you enroll at wellmark.com slash UPH. Family first. <laughs> My dad used to tell us that all the time. But family first wasn't just something he'd say to us. It was how he lived every day of his life. And it's how I try to live mine too. At Shelter Insurance, our agents are dedicated to helping provide personalized auto, home, and life protection that puts your family first. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. At U.S. Cellular, we think phones are great, but they're not always great for us. Because while they connect us to so much, they can also distract us from, well, us. The us that actually laughs out loud with each other instead of just texting it. That knows being in the same room doesn't always mean being together. So let's find us again by putting our phones down. Not forever, just for five. Five days, five hours, even five minutes. Join U.S. Cellular in the Phones Down for Five Challenge. Find out more at uscellular.com slash find us. Time to redo this basement? Yeah. A home gym, movie theater, model train utopia. Or yoga studio? I'm flexible-ish. Great. I'll just use the U.S. Bank mobile app so we can plan it out. Which way are you leaning? Setting a savings goal or applying for a home improvement loan? I say we look at both options. Right here in the app. Budget for a really good home gym. We deserve it. <laughs> Noted. Help for today, planning for tomorrow. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. Hawks on to Dallas for the final four. And we'll await uh, tomorrow's winner, South Carolina and Maryland. LSU also punched their ticket today. So it'll be uh, the winner of Carolina and Maryland from Greenville tomorrow. And, of course, uh, the semifinal action will take place on Friday. It'll be a Friday and Sunday. Semis on Friday and the final game on Sunday afternoon. Hawks over Louisville, 97-83. Coach Bluter just to climb the ladder and... Cut down the rest of the net on the hoop to our left. And, of course, Jan Jensen uh, just got up there and uh, started on the net to our right. All the Hawkeyes still out on the court amid, amidst all the confetti. Not unlike uh, the Big Ten tournament. And the rest of the team will 
climb the ladder and both nets will come down here in Seattle. I want to bring you the plays of the game, but first let's pause. 10 seconds for station identification. You're listening to Iowa Hawkeye women's basketball. And it's now time for our plays of the game as the Hawks head to Dallas. She'll walk it across the timeline. Angle right side. Robinson comes out on her. Step back three. Pointer. Got it. Right at the top of the key. 15 for Clark. Hawks by two. Wow. Dribbles into the paint. Right side. Marshall. Now Clark on the right wing as well. Looking inside. Whips a pass cross court to Kate Martin for three. Got it. There's that glue. Here's Clark with five. <laughs> Step back from 18. Gets a pass inside to Warnock. Goes off the glass. Layup oh, good. Yes. Caitlin across the timeline. In between the circles. Fakes left. Now in the corner, Warnock. She'll fire another three. So ish. Oh, 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 Warnock forcing the timeout from Louisville. She'll dribble it back out. About 28 feet away from the hoop. Hawks working it around the perimeter. Now Clark will fire a three straight away. Knocks Shoot. it down. Here's Kate oh, Martin. Good Martin. Three pointer from the right wing. Martin is money. Two threes for Kate Martin. 65 52. Dribbled it back out. Now gives it off to Cochran. Drives to the basket from the right wing. Missed the layup. Sonano the rebound. Marshall. Corner three. Oh my Drilled goodness. It. Under a minute, third quarter. 76 57 Iowa. Van Liff has it oh. taken away by Marshall. Ahead to Clark. Wide open shot. Got it. Wow. Stalky's still in there for Sonato. Here's Clark. Deep three straight away. Oh. Wow. Gets it into Molly Davis, who will just hold it. Oh, my God. The Hawks head to Dallas for the final four for the first time since 1993. Lisa Bluter's first trip to the Final Four, 97-83. The Hawks over the Cardinals. And just like that, Iowa continues the quest and will head to Dallas uh, tomorrow morning and uh, start preparations for the Final Four on Friday night. Caitlin Clark with a triple-double to lead the way. 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. We'll be back with some more interviews. Stay with us on the postgame show. Iowa 97, Louisville 83. The Hawks to the Final Four. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. I love a good win. Catching up with friends. Saving money at the pump. Soaking up the perfect Iowa day. Sitting down to a really, really good meal. These are the everyday delights that make us smile. These are the moments that connect us all as Iowans. And these are the wins that, more often than not, Start with Iowa's farm families and the crop they're growing. Because when corn grows Iowa, Iowans win. Learn more about how to share your own wins at iowacorn.org backslash Iowans win. Running a business is a lot of work. Luckily, I've got a great partner. Oh, I thank you. I meant U.S. Bank. I knew that. U.S. Bank Business Essentials is a huge help to us. Totally. Their comprehensive point-of-sale system does it all. Tracks inventory, manages schedules, customizes orders, plus all the regular banking stuff. If only it could make coffee. Nah, that's your job. From point-of-sale to quick loans, we have many ways to make your business boom. That's what U.S. Bank is for. U.S. Bank. We'll get there together. Equal housing lender member FDIC. You probably know that a natural gas leak smells like rotten eggs, but what does a gas leak look or sound like? If you hear a whooshing or hissing sound, see dirt, dust, or water spraying from an area, or you get dizzy or queasy, leave the area immediately, then call 1-800-595-5325 once you're safely away. See midamericanenergy.com for more safety tips. Paid for by the customers of MidAmerican Energy. The Honda HRV, CRV, Pilot, Passport, and Ridgeline. They all have one thing in common. They never back off from a challenge. Available with all wheel drive, the Honda SUV lineup has the performance you can count on and the capability to amaze. It's no wonder Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com named Honda the 2022 best value brand. So get to your Central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. 
Based on 2022 brand image awards from Kelly Blue Book, visit kbb.com for more information. Celebration continues out on the floor here in downtown Seattle as uh, Jamie had a chance to talk to Coach Bluter amidst a bunch of happy Hawkeyes. Coach Bluter, you're going to the Final Four. Um, oh, I feel so proud of you. I know so everyone's good. so proud of you. It feels so good. It's just, I don't even know if it's sunk in right yet. I mean, I'm just so proud of this group and my... Having my family here, it means the world to me. I just, I just love them. Okay, you talk to Holly. All right, you're <laughs> Okay, I'm going to pick up where we left Ooh. off. You've had a little bit more time. Yes, yeah. Um, it, does this feel real? It almost doesn't. Like, you know, I mean, this group has just been amazing to coach, and I have the best staff in America, honestly. I mean, it has been – everybody has worked so hard for this, and I couldn't be more happy for Jan. Just on a day she loses her dad, and Dale, I know he's got the best, you know, seat in the house right now, but, uh, you know – Jan has been a rock for her family, and I'm just so proud of her. And, and she's the assistant coach of the year. Yep. Dale helped us, I'm sure, with this one. We're so thankful. So, uh, <laughs> I'm so unprofessional. Um, during the game, at the when you were up by 20, going into that fourth quarter, how do you stay focused to yeah. finish up the game? Yeah, we talked about, we said mission focused, mission focused. They're going to come at us hard now. So, yeah, we knew that. We knew they were going to come after us. Um, and we just, you know, we made some free throws and we, we valued the ball. We did not turn the ball over and we, you know, did a great job on the boards today uh, against a really good rebounding team. So, um, again, they were just locked in. This team was locked in. They were loose, they were having fun, and they were locked in. You've been a coach for uh, quite a few years. <laughs> yeah. It's about time, right? It's about time. Uh, has this just been something that you've always been like, I want this, I need this? And you don't know how many times I went to the Final Four and I watched those other coaches and I like, wow, that would be so cool to be there. That would be so cool to have a team that can make it to the Final Four. And now we're doing it. So, again, just incredibly blessed. And you brought Iowa 30 years later back to the Final yeah, Four. Yeah, Coach Stringer brought them here in 93. and That's good company. We're, we're doing it again. That is good company. All right. Well, Coach, anything for those fans who might be thinking about uh, going to Dallas? Hey, why not jump aboard? Let's go to Dallas. Let's have some fun. Let's go get them. Let's go get them. Right, congrats, Coach. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. And now here, with Kenna Warnock, you had a game. You had a game. The team had a game. How are you feeling? Oh, my gosh. I'm on top of the world right now, obviously. Um, it's so exciting. I mean, that's been our goal the whole time I've been here. And to be able to do it my senior year is awesome. So tonight when you, you I think, missed your first three, but, man, you just got hot after that and, and you were a force down there. How did it feel to be able to support your team and come through tonight and be that offensive threat? Yeah, it's always awesome to contribute um, in any way you can. I mean, sometimes it's defensively, sometimes it's rebounding, but, I mean, it's always fun when it's offensively, of course. So I'm glad that I could just contribute to this. I mean, everyone had a great game, and I think it really showed how amazing of a team we are. And how was it to have your family here? They're from around here. They live now around here now, being able to see them. Oh, it's the best. I mean, it's such a weird thing. Like, I can't believe that it was out here. It's just destiny, honestly, to have it out here and for them to be able to come. Um, but see them in Dallas, so that would oh, be even better. Yes. To Dallas, right? Of okay. course, I, as everyone probably should. So. <laughs> so tell those fans how much it means to be able to hear them here, but also know that they're thinking about going to the Final Four right now. Oh, my gosh. You guys are the difference maker, honestly. I mean, Hawk fans are the best. It's insane how we've had Carver North, Carver West, and now let's have Carver South. So let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, great game today. Yeah. You did awesome. Thank you. Great job, Jamie, out there with um, Coach Bluter and McKenna Warnock, and now Kate Martin. Cool. I'm so proud of you, Thank Kate. You. Uh, Thank you. How, what is the feeling you're feeling the most right now? Oh my gosh. On it, like, I'm overwhelmed because I don't even know how to feel right now. I'm just so happy, super proud, super grateful. And I'm just so excited to get to some warm weather. 
it's not warm here? No, no, no okay. it's not. Okay. Coming into tonight's game, what was your mindset? Where were you at? Super confident. Um, there was no doubt in my mind, truly. Um, I just felt like everybody was so focused, so mission focused, so locked in for the last month, honestly. We have been, and I still feel that way. today when you saw that you had a 20 point lead going into the fourth quarter like yeah. where did where does your mind go at that point were you yeah. at all getting excited or were you still pretty focused no very focused so we just talked in our huddle the whole time saying don't lose focus don't get comfortable yes we have a comfortable lead but do not get complacent at all um we've seen it in march madness so many games where teams are up by 20 and going into the fourth quarter they come the other team comes back and wins you know and we did not want to be that team you know and so we just kept <laughs> we just kept taking it to them kept getting stops on defense and I mean the rest is history and it's not Hawk Nation's listening in right now what do yeah. you have to say to them thanks for tuning in thanks for following along all year we'll see you guys in Dallas all bring right. your cowboy hats all right congrats and way <laughs> to go Kate here with Caitlin Clark. We're heading to the final four, my friend. Yeah, we are. Uh, had a stellar game today, a triple-double. Figured out those times where your team needed just a little bit of a pick-me-up, and you did just that. Talk about your what it was like playing today. I mean, I thought we played really well. Started off a little slow, but, you know, we never were flustered. All we did was respond, and, you know, I couldn't be more proud of this group. Um, our defense was great. That's what carried us, um, and everybody contributed. When you came into the game today, what was your feeling? Were you like, yeah, I, we got this? Yeah, I was, yeah, we got this. I honestly wasn't, you know, nervous, anxious at all. I had a belief in this team that we were going to do it. We've been dreaming about it, but we've been working for it, and that's what's going to lead us to this point. Um, and I'm so proud of everybody. Everybody deserves this so much. How long have you been dreaming of Final Four? Ever since I was a little girl, I've loved the basketball, so dreams come true, y'all. All right, and anything for those fans who are thinking about Thanks. Dallas? Hey, you better be there. It's going to be fun. All right. Never, I never even imagined this until I got to Iowa. Um, it's been really crazy to come this far. I'm so appreciative of everybody here. Everybody deserves it so much. When you guys went on that run in the third quarter, were you like, is this really happening? Yeah, but it felt like everything just finally clicked for us. I mean, it just felt like we were playing Iowa basketball. Um, I honestly, it felt so natural when I looked at the scoreboard and saw the lead we had. I was like, oh, wow. Like, I, I just, we were playing basketball the way we knew we could. So um, I'm just really glad it came together then. What were your thoughts when you came into today's game? Did you feel like you guys were going to get it? Yeah, I mean, we all came in super confident. Um, we all just had the same dream, uh, and we were going to fight for it. So I knew regardless of how this day went, we would have given it our all. All right, and there's Hawk fans that are still here today. I know. It's just crazy. I mean, the Hawk fan support has been unreal. Um, thank you to everybody who traveled. Thank you to everybody we converted in Seattle. Um, go Hawks. Thank you. Yeah, Good thank job. you. Go! There you have it. Just about uh, the entire starting five you ran into. I out was there, trying huh? to run around and get everyone. And yeah, there is way more emotions than I thought I would have. And uh, if you look around, though, there is a lot of tears, like all happy tears. Um, yeah. How was it out there at midcourt? A lot of crying, <laughs> a lot of people crying and a lot of people that have like are, have been invested like Sue Beckwith. And she's just like crying out there. And she's like, it's been a long time. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I'm, I haven't seen it. I mean, I probably saw it when I was 10, but um, you got Becca McCann, who Becca Gallery now is here. And it's just, it's a lot of things for people who have been invested in Iowa athletics for a long time. And so it's just awesome. Yeah. I mean, you she, can, it's uh, been so much work, like so many years of like fighting and clawing to get here and a lot of games. A lot of games. A lot of, games, a lot of a lot years, of and you don't know if it's ever going to happen. And a lot of sad tears, right? There's been a lot of times where lot, th things don't end up the way you want them to end up. And to finally be to a point where it ends the way you want it to end, it's, ooh, all these things come out, and uh, just an exciting year. And it continues. That's the good news. As Iowa will head to the Final Four to take on the winner of tomorrow night's game, Maryland and South Carolina.
Does Maryland have a chance at the number one South Carolina and an Iowa Maryland matchup in Dallas? Oh, wouldn't that God. be something? That would be something. Wouldn't it be something if three? If this is one of the few times where I want all Big Ten schools to win because how amazing right. would that be? Three in the Final Four, and that just shows you that really you got the best conference. <laughs> Still alive as Ohio State uh, will play tomorrow as well. Well, that's going to wrap up our coverage here from Seattle on Iowa's Elite Eight victory over Louisville to head to Dallas and the Final Four. You'll not get sick of hearing it. I won't get sick of saying it. Iowa 97 and Louisville 83, a triple-double tonight by Caitlin Clark with 41 points, 10 rebounds, and 12 assists. And, of course, the captain of the Seattle Region 4 all-tournament team. So Jamie and I will head home tomorrow for yeah. a few days and then uh, get down to <laughs> Dallas on Thursday. The team is uh, going right here tomorrow yeah, to Dallas. They leave at noon tomorrow to go straight to Dallas. Rob and I will take a quick stop at home change our luggage out <laughs> and then head on down yep and certainly uh, look forward to that as iowa goes to the final four for the first time since 1993 the first time under lisa bluter and 30 victories uh, this year an all-time <laughs> record just all the records all it's, it feels like all the records are happening and they should i mean this has been an amazing year so far and the fact that this team came in and you can hear them right they just have that mindset of we got this we are an amazing team we are a force and uh, just a different type of team for jamie kb lang i'm rob brooks thanks so much for listening all season long and uh, especially tonight as iowa heads to dallas and the final four 97 83 the hawks over the cardinals from climate Pledge Arena in downtown Seattle, Washington. That'll wrap up our coverage, and we'll talk to you on Friday from Dallas. This is Hawkeye Women's Basketball from Learfield. Hawkeye Women's Basketball has been brought to you by Authentic Brand, unique Hawkeye apparel at Authentic-Brand.com. Honda, to see how Honda crushes the competition, see your central Midwest Honda dealer. Honda gets the Midwest. hy V score big savings at hy V deals.com. Iowa Lottery, be a VIP with the Iowa Lottery. Visit IALottery.com for details. United Healthcare, proud sponsors of Small Business Spotlight. Sign up your small business at HawkeyeSports.com backslash UHC. And by U.S. Bank, proud to support Iowa basketball. U.S. Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation on the Hawkeye Sports Network.